Yo, what's up, everybody, and welcome to the Unranked to Masters Full Educational Gwen Guide. I'm here with the boy, the cat, in the background, full chilling. He's sleeping, he has no idea what's going on. I had a lot of fun playing Gwen. Gwen, to me, was like the AP version of Riven. If you get ahead on Gwen, this champion feels extremely rewarding, extremely broken to play, even. This was also the highest win I had very close to with Riven. Definitely my second favorite champion in the game right now. The best AP top lane carry champion that you can play. So please consider leaving a like and a subscribe as we're getting close to 100 k before the end of the year if you guys want to vote yourself for next champion check the description down below and make sure to join the discord you can always cast a vote whenever i'm going to announce a new champion and other than that i hope you guys enjoy the video god bless you all see you guys in the video every move you made i was watching you if you are serious about improving and climbing to your desired league rank you're in the right place this year, I've worked on laying out two courses that will help you in all aspects to improve. One is about all the fundamentals for the landing phase, and the other one goes in-depth on tempo and the mid to late. I've been challenger for 7 years and I can guarantee you that this will massively speed up your process and reaching any goal that you have set in mind. Both courses have a preview video where you can see the style of the videos, so check those out before anything. You can also always join my Discord to check out some reviews. Alright, let's get into the video. Alrighty, it's boss man. This is going to be the first game for the Gwen journey. Now, I pretty much exclusively play Ghost TP or Ignite TP on Gwen. I take Ignite TP in melee matches where I can look to pretty much skirmish them more often, look for more kill opportunities and mostly also use the Ignite either as like a source of true damage or to deny sustain. So, I would take Ignite, for example, into a champion like wukong it's true damage it's very nice uh, i would take ignite for example into matchups like irelia against a champion like maybe camille fiora aatrox these type of matchups so i can get the anti-heal effect and i can get more true damage. so into a mole fight it's a tank champion i'm going to be running ghost the reason i want ghost into matchups like this is because it allows me to just chase him more it's just better overall for the matchup so the room page that you run is going to be conqueror you always go presence of mind you can go tenacity or alacrity depending on the team comp and then last stand. and then second i go pretty much demolish every game and you can choose between these three depending on the matchup so now we're playing against a mall fight i'd say the second win would be the best i go attack speed once and i'm going to take magic resist here because we are against mall fight at the end of the day right here so it's pretty much the setup that i like to run the most prior okay um i mean nothing much changes here um so what am i looking at this draft first of all they have physical damage Everywhere besides Malphite. So Malphite is our only source of AD damage this uh, AP damage this game, right? So here I'm already more inclined to probably just run health uh, or flat armor because armor is just ultimately ultimately going to be a lot more um, sustainable for me here. Now there's two starting items that you can run as Gwen. You either go for Riftmaker or you go for Nash's Tooth first. I like to go Nash's Tooth first if I can because it's like it, it spikes you quicker, it spikes you harder, you get more kill opportunities, every auto attack deals more damage, and your Q still, still deal amount of damage, it basically speeds up your gameplay. So I would go for, um, what's it called? Um, I keep forgetting that Nash's Tooth this game simply because I'm going to be playing against a tank. I don't necessarily need, need the HP from the rift maker so if we compare the items right this gives me 100 ap 50 attack speed but it also gives me magic on hit damage whereas with rift maker i get 70 hp it's a bit less i get more hp i get ability haste and i get on the vamp on the vamp is an amazing stat but it's not that good in the early game right the longer the game goes the more the percentage actually matters so i like nash's tooth as a quick spike it gives me ability haste the same it gives me 30 ap more it gives me 50 percent attack speed instead of the hp so the, the, the question that you have to ask yourself is in this matchup or against this top side would i rather want hp or would i rather want attack speed now i'd rather want attack speed and a little bit more damage well, this guy's place the word i would want it to place so here uh, i'm gonna go for nash's tooth first i always go during start i don't need d-shoot in this matchup only d-shoot against like super rage matchups i see that this guy's playing comet resolve with the ring starts i see that because he showed on the map and um my goal on gwen is to try and always get priority if i can uh, i always look to play for priority that's why i don't leash priority is just simply broken and then what i try to do is i do q into e start mostly i always start q uh, not always but i mostly will start q but on level three i really like to put two points in my q instead of a point to w and then if you have priority if i'm like level three and he's level two my push priority will become extremely oppressive for him to play against so here it looks like Malphite could be leashing the Briar. So here I'm not sure Rumbles might want to invade. Anyways, Briar is going to be pathing into bot here. I don't think I want to move here with him. I'll just let the, the Rumbles cook himself. He can make his own decisions here. He's a grown man. Let's see if I can see what ability... Wait. The Briar is going to the Rumbles now, not hitting the buffer. What's happening? I think they know that Rumbles is close, yeah. Because the Briar... 
thing targets champions. I mean, he's flipping the game here. Oh, baby. Oh, he didn't get it. Goodbye, Ramos. Um, he has flash. He's gonna use it. Oh, I'm off a flash after him. I, sh I guess I shouldn't have pushed the wave. Why are you pinging me? What do you want me to do? It's okay. I mean, he can be upset at me, but he's literally flipping the game. Good job, Tob. <laughs> oh, that's my fault, I guess. It's my fault, even. It's fine. You just don't react to these kind of people, man. It's all good. Moffat has no flash. We're gonna use our lane. We, I mean, he lost EXP, right? Two means, I believe. And I'm already level two. I'm gonna get two melee means on this next wave. I'm gonna get my level three. And I'm just gonna poke him every time he walks up now. Try to E Q all to him. Now, two more melee means, and I get my level three. I'm gonna wait for that. Now I'm level three. Second point in Q. This is what I was talking about, right? And now every Q I do, do so much damage. Watch this. Look at that. Oh, I missed the count for that. Okay, collect this. Uh, you have an execution on your Q. He's gonna get level 2 here from this mean. He doesn't. He's a cannon. So, what if I just... Ice? I mean, yeah. Good job, Top, indeed. I think I can get the plates here now as well. So, the mistake that the Malphite made, you were pretty much walking up, right? He had no flash. He was down at the XP because he helped his jungler. Uh, I would want to get a Blasting Mod on my reset here, which is 850, which I have. Okay, he killed a mean, so we're fine here. But I also want to stay for a little bit more gold so I can get some extra uh, potion. Potions are just super broken in the early game. So, uh, to explain one thing about your W, by the way, is if you press shift here, it actually gives you flat, bonus, magic resist, and armor. And I didn't know this. And throughout my playthrough, you guys will notice too, I didn't even know you could recast this ability. I only need one potion, I don't need two. I think one is enough. He just hit level three. He's buying cloth armor boots. Um... I don't think the cloth armor is going to help him too much. He has no potions. I have one potion. I'm going to try and thin out this wave so it doesn't get too big. And then I'm going to stack up my Q. And then I'm going to start poking him. And I want to use my W whenever he does his most damage, right? So I Q, I don't mind it too much. I dodge the Comet. But whenever he's like trading with me, like W, E, and Q, then I want to use my W because it gives me flat resistances, right? Briar is bot, 24 CS. So she full clear to do bot. I'm going to W this one. Okay. Because I'm also going to tank some mean damage here. Lovely. So you can recast the W ability yourself. I actually didn't know that for the longest time. When he goes for lessons like that, I'll punish. And now the wave is going to slow push back into the Malphite. But that's okay. Right? Because I have potion and he does not. And I'm always going to look to try and punish him whenever he goes for lessons like that. I just punish. Every time he goes for lessons, that's when I'm going to use my EQ. Because it's guaranteed to land, right? I'm going to Q here to get my level 5. And I'll stack up the Q again. If he goes for Q onto me... Okay, he's looking to do that. I'm going to E away from the Comet. And now I'm gonna slow push and try and bait this Malphite to walk up for assets. Okay, almost walks up there. I need my E as well though. I use my potion so I stay full HP. Briar most likely is going to recall and come back into topside. So that's one thing I gotta be thinking about here. If he had walked up for this last set, I would have punished him really hard. I just used. Uh, I'm not sure if W is actually worth it there. Because it costs so much mana too. But this Malphite is running out of HP. He's running out of mana. Okay, Briar is still here. And she's reset. She bought a whip. But she went to the bolt side again. Which is odd to me because she shouldn't have any camps there. Okay, Malphite is pretty low HP now. I'm getting close to level 6. Dodge the combat every time. And now let's see if I can punish him. So I can also try and punish him here whilst on the turret. If he goes for this last hit, I can still press Q, right? There we go. A little bit outside of the turret range too. One minion for level 6. This is why we don't demolish 2. Oh, do need to hit the turret. He might think he can kill me. But he actually cannot. There we go. Just bait it. Just bait it. And now we kill. Now, what I like to do whenever I'm snowballing on a champion like Gwen is I like to go see the armor boots ASAP. Simply because tier 2 boots, they allow me to... Oh, uh, okay. I think I can win because of the healing I have, but I don't have my W. Win champion. So I keep my I kept my Q stacks there, right? I kept my Q stacks up. That's the first thing that I did. So I still have my Q stacks. And then my champion uh, deals equal to 50% of the damage. This ability deals to champions, right? The thousand cuts passive. So I healed a little bit there. I'm gonna go for CDR boots like I was talking about, and now we're gonna rush this because I don't need HP. I want this tank or tank destroying item uh, ASAP, right? So now we go like this. And what I was trying to explain is the reason I like tier 2 boots on Gwen so early uh, that much is because it basically allows you to be super sticky to your opponents. First of all, your E and Q cooldown having lower CDR is really, really oppressive. Um, the fact that I also have more movement speed makes it harder for him to deal with. I'm going to ping so I get 5 gold. So yeah, I have no potions. He has time. He has 2 potions. I got to keep that in mind. However, at 6.05, there's a plant in the river. Uh, always one thing to keep in mind. You see here, my E is 11 second cooldowns. But if I auto-take once, it actually refunds like 3 seconds, I believe. 
It refunds 25% of the ability if I alt attack one. So I always got to do that. And I think that will increase as well. Yeah, it will increase as well. The more points you put in E, right? Okay. Let's go. I'm going to thin out this wave. And I want to start looking for proactive trades onto this mall fight again. Now, the reason I want to push here and look for proactive trades is if I get priority right here, like let's say I trade with him and I get priority, I will be the first that can walk into river and get the plant. And he cannot, right? There's always a plant at 6 or 5 in the river. So I'm going to try and utilize that. So I'm trading here with the mall fight. And even though, let's say, I lose half my HP like this, right? And he loses half his HP, it's okay for me. So now I slow push. The reason I slow push is so that this wave can walk through the lane. And then I'm going to be looking. For this plant. Ooh, I gotta keep in mind that he doesn't ult though. Uh, I'm okay, I'm, I'm definitely in trouble. Oh, I might be dead. Yeah, I'm dead. Okay, my bad. I actually just got solo killed. We'll play by Malfoy, we'll play by Malfoy. We'll play by Malfoy. We need refillable potions so we don't get in that position again. I honestly did not expect Briar to be topside again, but that's my mistake. He did flash an ult. I lost my shutdown though, and this slows down my gameplay a lot. These are the kind of deaths that I kind of. Cannot afford because now he gets 550 gold by killing me and I lose a wave. So it's like 100 something gold there too and the EXP. So I lose a lot, unfortunately, but it's okay. Um, yeah, that's why potions are just broken. I tried to utilize the fact that I could get to the plant, but instead of going for the plant, Briar was there. I died. My bad. I didn't expect Briar to be topside again after I just killed it there, but it makes sense because she had topside camps and she had a blue buff. So it's okay. We get his flash at least, we max E second. I think I could have used my abilities there better too. To maybe escape, but it's okay. I'm by no means a perfect player. Um, so keep that in mind. Don't expect perfection from yourself as well. Alright, so it's Sheen Cloth Armor. I don't know why this guy's so adamant on buying more Cloth Armor still. I'm gonna use Potion here, because Briar could look to gank. But now, they don't have ult, so I could look to maybe 2v1. Okay, I gotta W that, of course. I'm gonna focus the, the mall fight, actually. Alright, you'll miss my Q. Okay. So here, I I mean, I've got, I've got to use my W on the Briar ult, right? So I can't get hit by that. Malphite did not have ult or flash. So for me here, it was the best to focus Malphite. Because if I full focus him, he actually cannot escape away from my damage, right? Because Malphite has no ult, no flash. So if I focus him and I'm already melee range, he cannot run away. That's why I tried to keep focusing him. I'm gonna... No, he might have ult again, actually. Time to run away. Right? Uh, if Malphite had a little bit more magic resist, he probably lived there, but he also itemized wrong. So that allowed me to be in his nice position here. Um, ultimately, I heal again for my abilities. Now I get my full item. I can TP back. I'm going to look to get the full turret, and I'm going to look to expand my leads. This time, we were ready for it, right? This time, I was also saying we got the notification that the Briar was on Herald, so that's why I was mentally ready for ult potentially coming. That's why I could also react with my W. It's not only reaction time, it's also anticipation, right? In my mind there, I was thinking there is a good potential that Briar is going to look top lane here. And I'm going to W, EQ, recast it, and keep stacking him right now. Look at that damage, right? That's what the tank destroying items does to you. Especially when you don't build magic resist. So now look how much attack speed I have, and look how much damage my alt attacks deal, right? That's why I love this Nash Tooth item so much. And now when I'm ahead like this, I can just basically start hacking down the turret, and there's nothing much he can do about it. Is he gonna kill me? All right, recast it. Almost got the full turret, and look at this damage. What's his counterplay, right? What's his counterplay now? And now I'm going to get the full turret under his nose. Nothing much he can do about it. He can ult me, but he's not ulting the wave. So that's why I'm standing here and not in the wave. And now we kill him. Briar could look topside again. So I'm going to recall. I'm not going to risk it here. Oh, baby. All right, this, this guy doesn't like me, does he? Okay, they do still have Herald. I'm not going to fight him. It's not worth the risk. Uh, I'm going to put my pick right here because now I could go for this item instantly, but this item is not that efficient. I'd rather buy like this and get more a AP because this item alone, let's look at this full item, right? This gives me 20 AP, 20 and 25 health, 25 on the vamp. This gives me 20 AP as well. This gives me 40 AP. So I could have went this and boots, right? So this and boots would have given me 60 AP. This third range item is only 20 AP. So it's just really gold inefficient. So here I'd rather get the HP and more AP. And now we're fine. This guy has no flash, no ult right now. He finally bought some magic resist. I think he noticed. And I have ghost right here. So I can actually run him down with ghost. But okay, he's aware of it. I want to look to play for the tier 2 turret. And then I want to look to see if I can shut or expand my lead to going into bot side, right? Because right now, their win condition is definitely their bot lane. Caitlyn is their win condition. So I'm going to slow push this wave a little bit. Allow this next mini wave to walk 
past here too. This mini wave is what I refer to. Okay, they killed bot lane. That's amazing. But they're getting the mid tier one. Uh, I'm going to play for the tier 2 turret here. If I can fight him all fight here, not to kill him, but just to get him to 1 HP, he cannot defend the turret. So that's why all in here. Okay, I actually killed him. <laughs> I mean, yeah. That's why we have Ghost, right? So we can keep gap closing. And now, because of Nasher dude, this is why I like to rush Nasher dude. Nasher dude. Watch how fast I kill this. Dish, 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 dish. Yeah, that's all I need. One wave. And now I get the tier 2 third, 600 gold. Now I'm going to recall. Now I'm going to play for bot mid to get more natural resources there. I'm not going to look for more kills yet. I'm going to look for more natural resources on the map. What are natural resources? Here, one thirds, here, two thirds. Let's get this. I need 1950. Okay, I'm gonna stay a little bit longer so I can get close to 1950. Good escape by him. Okay, there we go. And I can sell the D ring and I have it. And now I want to look to expand my lead. So I'm gonna go to other lanes now. I'm not gonna play for top lane anymore. There's nothing for me to get there anymore. So I'm gonna play for other lanes, right? Okay, now we have this. I'm gonna say me bot free. I mean, I'm just going to. I'm not going to push them away from their lane. I'm going to gank their lane because I can just TP back to top eventually, anyways. Now I will buy my second item, and my third item. What I do on Gwen very often is either it's either cosmic drive if I need the movement speed, right? Because it gives you a lot of movement speed and ability haste, and also just go Rabadons to full one shot them. And this game, I'm definitely gonna go Rabadons because the only person building magic resist is going to be the Malphite, and even that guy has a lot of armor, right? Because Malphite doesn't really like building magic resist. So now I'm gonna ping on the way, and I'm just gonna gank their lane i have my ult coming up okay i hope okay i'm just gonna remove some wards just give my bot lane some pressure too okay maybe we can pressure mid instead i can always tp back to top lane to collect this fat wave where's his briar ult okay it's not a good play by them because i'm behind right i'm saving them here uh oh Gwen Gaming! Uh, Gwen Gaming! Oh, I misplayed it so hard. Mechanics are not shining, but the play is shining. We lose the top wave, but we kill their bot lane. Bot lane is our win condition. We get rid of their win condition. Now we can win the game. I'm gonna ping them to go away, so I can get this tier 2 turret. Uh, I've lost like 3 waves here, but you see, it's worth it. I kind of misplayed that mechanically even, right? I missed my ults, but I have 2 full items, that's why I'm just so disgustingly fat here. And again, tier 2 turret, that's why I ping my team away. Q for the life steal. Lovely. Actually, wait, no, it's auto attacks, right? It's auto attacks that life steal me. Mostly auto attacks. I'm out of the W range of the Caitlyn. Oh, I walked into a trap. Oh. Okay. I'm still healing too much. See how much healing I have? I still play it so bad. Like, I miss so much of my abilities. I'm just broken, man! The champion is absolutely ridiculously broken. Like, unironically, their bot lane was 5 and 1. They hit like everything. I got hit by the Thresh Hook. I got hit by Ignite. I stayed under the Caitlyn Trap. And I still won. I don't even play good mechanically. I just still win. Champion is so broken, man. So ridiculously broken. Like, it's basically AP Riven. That's how I see it now. And now I'm just gonna get Herald. I'm gonna play for mid tier one, mid tier two. And like, how can enemy team ever get back into like close to the amount of gold that I have this game, right? Oh, you bitch. Okay, it's fine. We then uh, just uh, go faster then. And we're gonna just go mid instantly. Look at my items too. GG. So now we just hit tier one turrets, right? Again, I'm not looking to play for kills. I'll let the kill come to me by playing for objectives. And I'm gonna play for mid tier two. And enemy team can do shit. So I got top tier 1, top tier 2. Bot tier 1, bot tier 2. Look at this Caitlyn. Okay, Malphite has ulto. I'm not gonna go for it. I'm not gonna go for this. That's just so. <gasps> Uh-oh. Please live. Okay. I have W, bitch. <laughs> I'm, I'm playing it so like... Okay, I need to unrust. I need to get unrusted. Okay, we need how much gold? 1100 gold. So let's stay on the map until we have 1100 gold. I mean, I couldn't get the tier 2 turret, but I'm still being a criminal and I like it. Can I get please? I need... Can I please? For gold. 
Why is this guy so angry at me? He says no. <laughs> yeah, you're a moss stomper. I don't really care about your moss stomper, bro. But it's okay. It's okay. This Ramos doesn't like me because I didn't invade with the number one. It was my bad, right, chat? It was my bad. My bad. Least the Lulu jungler. I don't have mana sustain. I also don't have D-ring. Alright, let's just recall. I only get mana sustain if I kill people, right? Because of the presence of my dwarf, I fight with people. That's okay. It's okay. Uh, what's my next item going to be? What would you build? What would you build? Realistically, I think the best... I mean, armor is pretty good, right? Because th these th three guys are just getting armor. And this is like a uh, Lethality Mythic. Because Gordrick can not skill too well. So like, I could go Zonyas. But I don't feel like I need it. The more AP you have, the more armor and magic resistance you get with your double as well. So if I just play with my W, then I think I'll always be fine. I don't care there's no flash. I didn't want to take that. I respect it. Okay, now let's fight them. Oh, there's a Briar there too. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, I have three items though. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> Lift. Get him, Ramus. Get him. He's like my mad dog that I'm sending after him. My K9 unit. Okay. That was a super value. Oh, hello. Hello there. Let's get the remaining turret. I've literally been there at every... GG. Blake Gwen! Get LP! Champion is broken! Broken! Alrighty. Uh, let's see. I hope he just picks an AD champion. Okay, well, it's kind of sucks, but... I hope then we pick an AD mid champion. Because you don't... Like, the, the biggest downside that I find for Gwen is if you have, like, full AP top side. I, I mean, there is true damage in my Q, of course. But uh, I don't want a full AP top side. Because then this enemy can just build mercs and... It's like so valuable to watch my champion already, right? So I'd rather not play against or with a full AP top side. I mean, it could be Tom Kench top or it could be Tom Kench support. And he had banned luck, so I'm not sure yet. Riven. Riven with the Renekton ban. Okay, and against Riven, you play bone plating, that's for certain. And I'm going to be running flat armor. I want flat resistance. Now, you can run Ignite against Riven or Ghost. Let's look at the rest of their comp. I'm going to be laning against either Zed or Riven in side lane. So I'm going to take Ignite. I think Ignite is better. Ignite just allows me to get more kill pressure. It's true damage, right? So the, the reason why I'd want goals over Ignite is because this matchup is very Feast or Famine. Um, it kind of snowballs either way. If Gwen gets ahead, I just run away with the matchup. If Riven gets ahead, she runs away with the matchup. So my most important goal would, of course, be, first of all, to, to not fall behind. And I think... Um, me having Ignite makes it way harder for the Riven to approach me because when I'm playing with Ignite, if, if we all in against each other, it's just going to be very tricky for her to... Uh, it basically makes it harder for her to find kill opportunities because I have more kill opportunities myself. If I had Ghost, she would have to worry about one last thing. All right? Oh, that's a nice bird. I've never noticed this. Why is the first time that I notice a bird here? Okay, anyways, um, I want to rotate my W and my bone plating very well in this matchup. That's why I want bone plating, right? Against these tricky melee matchups like Jax, Riven, uh, even champions like Trinamere, maybe Fiora as well. I basically would run bone plating, and your W gives you, if you check here, it gives me 22 flat bonus armor and magic resistance. So I always want to try and rotate my W and my bone plating um, when she's going to DPS me the most. He doesn't know. Watch this. You can do this, and I get mini. Mini Gwen. <laughs> it looks so silly. Okay, so she went long to three potions. She has a little bit more sustain. Ultimately, she has more potion than me, so that's one thing to keep in mind. Um, I promise to go Q start in this matchup. And realistically, like theoretically, Riven should get priority in this matchup. But I'm still going to try and play for it myself as well. And either I try and chunk her HP for her getting the priority. Or I look to get priority myself through just brute forcing it, right? And again, if we can get to level 3 and get 2 points in our Q, it's going to be amazing. So let's see. I'm going to walk with the means. And Riven is not in lane. So I'm able to stack my Q for... Oh, she is here. Okay. Gotta be careful with my bone. But I'm just going to Q here. 
And I see that she had bomb as well. You don't need to queue on four stacks, right? You can also queue on one or two stacks. Just do a little bit more poke. Okay, I could have probably used my bomb plate a little bit more aggressive there. That's my bad. But she has no cuckoo down right now. Okay, she's not pushing up. I'm going to focus the melee minion here. Because I actually don't need to kill the remaining caster. So now, I'm going to get level 2 here by the melee minion. And she didn't expect it. So I get a beautiful trade here. She's trading a level down. Level up timers, dude. Level up timers. She didn't know about level timers. So now let's stack it up. Uh, am I getting ganked or why is she walking up like this? I'm not sure if she's W or Q. If she goes for last hit, then I'll punish. I'm also two melee mains away from level 3. Okay, she has E second. Two melees for level 3 here. I'm slow pushing. Oh, she, you're Q for like that. You don't have cooldowns anymore. Okay, she had to flash. I'm going to slow push this wave. So that I can hard push wave number 3. I put two points in my Q always. I don't need W here. My bone blending is back too. Okay, I should have slow pushed. Okay, I'm going to last it all the way here. And then I'm going to push on this wave. And basically, the more damage I do to Riven right now, the harder it's going to be for her to collect this wave. So I put her pretty much in an impossible position. Everybody wants the cannon me in. Okay, she decides to not go for it. She should not be trading. Okay, actually a decent trade by her. I could also just reset and TP back, but I kind of want to look if I can kill her. One more main gives me level 4 here. She's not walking up for the last hits. Okay, then I can get ahead 100% of the time here by recalling and TP back. Because what's going to happen is you see Hermians are going to be stuck here to my melee, to my castles. Like, even a little bit, right? They stay stuck here for a super short duration. But even that alone makes it so that the wave starts pushing back into me. Because of the, instead of the wave meeting in the center, it starts closer to her, right? And now with her pushing the wave, I can just base TP back. She's playing Flesh Ignite, so the wave's pushing it to me. She is forced to walk up for last hit, so she can't really recall. Because you don't want to recall when the wave is pushing away from you. So, Riven forced to walk up for last hits. Half HP, down in items, how can she play? Riven has just been fundamentally outclassed. 4 5 crash into recall. So now I gotta make sure that this wave keeps pushing into me. So I want to try and avoid uh, hitting the minion too much with AoE. I know she has no flash. So now, the longer I let this go like this, the more Riven can play. So she's forced to walk up for last hit. But if she walks up for last hit, she risks dying. If she recalls, she's going to lose a full cannon wave. So basically, Riven has no option left. You see here? She cannot play the game. I'm going to zone her from the cannon of worth of EXP. Everybody wants the cannon. Oh, okay. I can't blow that. Alright, she lost the full cannon minion. Alright, and she's recalling. That's okay. She can recall. And now she's going to lose this full next wave too. Oh, <laughs> this is what I mean, chat. This is why you got to play fundamentally correct. What can they do? What can Riven do? She has no idea how to re react to the fundamentals. It's too powerful. It's too powerful. So she's lost the full cannon wave. She's losing this full wave. Ooh, Riven. The wave is still pushing into me. It's infinite. It's going to continue pushing into me. So Riven has lost a full cannon wave, a full normal wave, and she's losing another wave here. The next wave is going to be a cannon wave again. Look, fat guy is spawning. And in the meantime, this wave is still pushing into me. So Riven is going to come back to a bad wave position. And she just hates her life. I didn't need to kill her. I just had to play with my wave manipulation. And my recent time is to put her in a bad position. That's how you utilize the fact that I have TP against Ignite, right? So now... Riven is in a dire position. And the only advantage that I'm going to get right now is the fact that I will have my level 6 while she is still going to be level 5. I don't have any potions right now, so the first thing I should do when Riven comes back into lane is actually check her items, scout how strong she is. Has she recalled? I mean, she should be back at this point. There you go. So she went long short refillable. But I'm level 6, and she still is forced to walk up for last hits. So I'm going to trade a little bit. Hit this cannon. Don't want her to get the cannon in. So she still completely is... Oh... She eat the cute forward. I want to get him quickly. Oh, she dodged it. That I could have killed. Yeah, it definitely was a kill if I hit it. But it's okay. She's forced to recall here. If she stays, I can hard push into reset again or potentially die from. So here it was just a good all-in window because I was level 6. Fortunately, I mechanically misplayed it because uh, I'm a piggy. But she's on 1 HP, so we're chilling. True. Keep our 4 stacks up. If she resets, we kill. She stayed. Or I meant if she doesn't reset, we kill. I'm going to get one plate and kill this minion wave. I probably won't see the boots on this reset. Right? Again, I love see the boots on Gwen in the early game. They're absolutely disgustingly broken. So let's reset here. Get this minion. And time to reset for ya boy. Um, Diana's here. She died. Okay, perfect. Voltron's on 32 CS. They're probably, Diana's probably going to go to the bot side again because her blue buff is up there. 
Oh wow, I'm almost absolutely swerving here actually. Okay, now she's double longsword. Uh, I could go for... Uh, no, I think I go for this. I could go for this. I think I want Dark Suit though. So, here I have a lot of options, right? Um, I, I could have gone for like Blasting Wand and like maybe uh, a Ruby Crystal, but then I would instantly go for Rift Maker. Now, let's take a look at the top side. Would I want Rift Maker or would I want Blast or like Nash's Tooth, right? Now, generally speaking, I think Rift Maker is better into Riven, but I am Snowballer right now. I'm more than double her CS, right? I don't have any kills, but I'm up a plate and, two, uh, and, and like double CS. If you guys don't know, 14 CS is about the equivalent of a solo kill in terms of gold. I'm gonna try and hold the wave here. I just still win, even if she has ult. Okay, that, that Ignite is extremely boosted the noise. My Q executes to me in there. Okay, I just should have waited for my ult. Man, I suck at the game, don't I? I suck at the game. Poker like that. Okay, now she should be dead. Snip, snip. All right. So, yeah, that's also the benefit of having that CDR. I think the... Dark Seal is making it really easy now, too, to start stacking it up. This guy is building a Frozen Heart this way. What a giga chat. And now we can look to keep scaling and getting a lot stronger. Okay, lovely. All right, we get one plate, and then we're instantly going to Rico because Riven is walking back to lane, and I'm a little bit scared of Diana because I think she's passing at the top. We get Blasting one from this, and we're going to instantly Rico. Now, again, do I want Rift Maker or do I want Nash's Tooth? I believe I want Nash's Tooth because I'm bomb blitting up my W. The more AP I have, the more resistance I get for my W. And I'm already snow. Ooh, she tried to get zombies. And I'm already stronger in terms of resources. She's trying to do some fundamentals herself. No, 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 sir. No, no, no. All right, let's go and run top. And she tried to cancel my base, but I'm already sneaky and I'm out. So, um, I want to be probably a little greedy here. I go Nash's Tooth, but I gotta keep in mind that they do have a lot of burst with Riven and Diana, right? So, uh, I can still pivot into both. You see, they're both equal, uh, like, equal, um, gold because both items built into the uh, items. So, I can just decide it also on how the next two means are going to really skip play out. Let's say I die once and I fall more behind. Maybe I'm just gonna go for Rift Maker for, like, the insurance with, with the health, right? But if I keep snowballing the way I am... I mean, we can play for this. I have a freeze here. Unless she walks up. I wanted to bait her to use... Oh, Diana's there too. I might have to help the bow out. Did I Q stacks up? Get up. Is he gonna ult? Oh, double boss for you, boy. Where is she? Oh, okay, this one was perfect. Okay, bot lane. Uh, they are... This so it's just winning 2v1 what a sweet support well now i have five dark shields next two i'm gonna slow push this wave why do i slow push to allow this next wave to walk through the lane as well that we can hard push both lane. <gasps> and no chili why is my swain support 2v1 enemy bots i guess because he's full armor and realistically extremely fed why is that top now are you gonna use your w no he's not if you use w it goes on an extremely long cooldown right look at my ability like uh, how fast i oh he's w he's he's screwed Look at, like, that's what CDR would do, right? I keep gap closing into him, and I have so much ability haste. Like, there's nothing he can do because of my ability haste with CDR boost. And now I put him at 1 HP before the dive. He's gonna use W again, maybe. So now, he's gonna maybe go to his W. Oh, no, yeah, played me. No, I played him. I'll be honest, Chad, he completely outplayed me, and I should have auto attacked, and I'm, like, playing really mechanically um sloppy and um it's kind of making me feel uncomfortable and uh we should be doing better and uh, we need 1950 gold and then we have our item and uh yeah now we're chilling i guess okay let's go let's go let's go we got our item we're 10 cents per minute we are 60 cs up even though we didn't really get too many solo kills we're still completely slow because of the manos and now we're chill now we're gonna expand our lead we gotta buy national tooth because i ain't scared anymore because we're snowballing right so that's what i decided on i have wrap up for healing i got my e for healing i'm gonna take this food to one third why is this guy top now? What the hell? Alright. Uh, go back. And uh, now let's keep pushing. That's what our Nash's 2 does. We can go Madras this game because we already have 9 Dark Seal stacks. And I believe I can hard push this turret now because of my item, right? With the Rift Maker, you're not able to push turret this fast. Like, I need one wave that I can pretty much watch with anything right now because of the Nash's 2. So I just love this item so incredibly much. Once I have Rift Maker, I'll start dealing more damage with my abilities to, like, heal, right? But uh, now I can't heal too much with my abilities. 
Um, so with this one wave, I could literally take the entire turret. That's what Nasher 2 does for me. That's why I just love Scythe so much. Like the 50 attack speed is so disgusting. Like, basically, when Gwen gets ahead, I think there's almost no other champion that snowballs the game as fast as Gwen. And keep in mind, you have the insane late game insurance too. As long as you snowball with Nash's dude though, it doesn't feel too good to snowball with Rhythmic. I mean, I can just get it. Like, nah, I shouldn't. But, like, you don't snowball that hard with, uh, with Rift Maker, but with Nash's dude, you snowball so incredibly hard. Like, it's crazy how fast you start snowballing. The Zen was typing, so he died. What a good. Should I proxy this wave? Maybe not the best idea. I'm proxying enemy Diana too. Did you? Well, off Gwen. All right, me walked into the third. We can get this too. Now we have 10 seconds. We're gonna go Darkseal and we're gonna go for Red Maker. Now we're gonna go end game. Let's go. I'm gonna go to bot to get my natural resources. Harold is up in three minutes, so we can't play for that. Where can I get maximum gold? Bot, right? Bot tier one, bot tier two. So let's get my magis. Mm, yes. Now let's make sure we don't die. Mm, yes. And let's go this. I'm gonna go full AP here. Keep in mind, the more AP you have, the more resistance you get, right? So now I have 250 AP. Watch when I press W. I actually go to 130 armor, right? Because if you press shift on your W, it gets you 7%, 22 plus 7% of your AP, right? Yes, so that's why I get so much extra armor. And now the reason I got both is to play for these turrets. And uh, then we're gonna go. And uh, continue expanding our lead. I don't know, Jinx is here. I think it's still fine for me to be here. Because I want to play for the tier 2 turret anyways. Jinx cannot, without me at least. So, I can just help out the bro. They can see us. Okay. Hello, fat toad. I'm gonna take the turret. I hope you don't mind. I'm gonna press my W. Told you. Wish you could not be taking it without me. We still expend our gold. Now let's play for the mid tier 2. Right, it's just very simple from this point onwards. As long as we don't go for super weird fights and lose our magic stacks, I don't think I can lose this game anymore. And I prefer to expand my magic stacks. I'm here. I hit him. Okay. Hi, Oscar. Nice. Four Majestics. <gasps> okay, let's recall. I don't want to use my Majestics. I'm scared to lose it. I got TP to get back on the map again. I can TP mid, maybe, but I think my team already gets it, so let's go for rep buff instead. Yeah, my team is winning this game too, so it just ultimately becomes a lot easier to carry this game now, right? I mean, I get to pee here, but I think my team already just wins, so there's no point. Poor Riven got fundamentally gapped. Fundamentally gapped. Alright, get this rap both us. Is this turret still alive? It is. Okay, I mean, worth to go for it. It's like the maximum resource I can get, right? I still don't have Rift Maker, so I don't get the Omnivamp yet for my abilities, which kind of sucks. You definitely want the Omnivamp from your abilities, like your Q and stuff to get you more Omnivamp, right? That's why Rift Maker is just the best mythic. Best. I'm mean, just gonna tip it up. That's why it's also. Ah, maybe I shouldn't have. But that's why. Sorry, Rift Maker is just the best mythic on the, uh, on the Gwen because it gives you the Omnivamp. I think this like Omnivamp stat is so broken on Gwen because you're always fighting in melee range anyways. And I tried later on. I tried one game of Pro about Gwen too, but I didn't like it. Um, okay, we have enough gold for our mythic, but I want to try and see how strong I am without it. Let's go. There's two people bought. Riven is stop. She has Hydra. She's power spike. Power spike. I one shot her though. Go back. Thank you for the mega sex. I appreciate it. Yeah, at this point, the game is just completely over. Like, enemy is losing everywhere. Uh, we just played clean. This guy just dies too, by the way, if she walks up into my vicinity. GG, bro. I'm sorry. He doesn't know. Oh, I dodged that. I'm like scripting. Holy shit, I'm kind of scripting, I'll be honest. Uh, was that luck or was that skill? I don't know, I'll be honest. I'm gonna try and bait this guy to come from it, fighting me. Oh, never mind, Jinx is angry. I mean, the game is kind of jover. Mm. 
It doesn't stack my Qs. Hmm. I mean, no, that was a quickie. I'll be honest. Lovely. Let's finish this game and move on to the next one. I'm telling you guys, this champion is probably my favorite champion after Riven. It is broken. Play it for your LP. I'm playing Gwen into Tom Kench, right? So let's find Tom Kench or a similar champion. I'd say Uder is pretty similar. So what did he run this game? Click on this game and you, where do we find the room page? It's to be right here. There you go. So these are the runes he's running. He's actually playing no tenacity, which is very interesting. So he decided to go for this instead. And he goes second wind and he takes overgrowth. I think overgrowth is understandable. I'd definitely take a tenacity into enemy team, however. And um, I could go overgrowth. I can see that angle. I can see the demolish angle too. I think I like this. And uh, right, so you can see here the runes is running. Okay, and I think I'm running health to scale because he's like mix of physical and magic damage. I believe his Q is magic damage and the rest is like physical. I think ignite gives me a little bit more kill pressure, but ghost will allow me to play against the rest of the combo much easier, especially against champions like Ash and stuff. Ghost is just a very beautiful summoner on Gwen in general. You become a lot more sticky, so. It's good. And now we can also look at the build, right? You see he's mainly rushing an item like this. How did he itemize into the Udir? We can check that too. So he went this item. Okay. That's weird. He's buying two items at once here. I guess it doesn't really matter. The first thing I always do, chat, doesn't matter what champion I'm playing. When it's pretty good at it as well is look for an early game ward. Why do I look for an early game ward? Because how I always play top lane is I'm very fixated on my first four waves. In top lane, your lane is generally speaking going to be decided on how you play at your first wave. So you fall behind, good luck playing the game. If you get ahead, it's going to be very nice to play because it's all going to be the result of that first recall. So, what I'm going to try and achieve here is get a ward down. And the reason I want that ward is so that I know how enemy jungle is pathing and how now my jungle is pathing in the early. I'm going to ping here for 5 gold. And um, I just want to push him away. I'm not going to start E. I want Q start in this matchup. So I'm not going to select my E. And I'm just going to get my ward down, I believe, on... He's gonna ward, so I don't have to. I think the Raptor's ward was maybe a little bit better here. I mean, if I go E, I could get it. Let's go path here. Okay. They have a Blitzcrank. I'm a certain lane. Why Q start? Because it allows you to control the wave much better and trade a lot more efficiently too. E start used to be meta on this champion, but they kind of made it so this E at the early game is not even that strong. Q's just way better. Yes, this is the first Gwen game. <laughs> this is so silly, actually. <laughs> Alright, let's focus. Alright, I'm gonna get my priority. Just start Q, start stacking it. Three stacks, if he goes for last hit. Alright, he's gonna stand next to the mean that he wants to play for. And boom, we just proxy, or proxy, we just punish. Stack my Q again. So an okay trade for me. Go stand next to the mean that he wants to last hit, and every time he goes for it, we just press Q. Okay, I'm gonna get level 2 from this mean, so I'm gonna stack up my Q again, and play for my level up here. Okay, he stepped backwards. Money, money. Yo! Hey man, just want to thank you for the YouTube content has helped a lot in my game, specifically the low death stuff. Okay, nice. Thank you for the 3, bro. I appreciate it. Thank you for your support. Um, Nocturne is padding at the top, so I'm gonna be warning right here. I know that because he didn't start his wrap off, right? So I know Nocturne is padding at the top of this game. I'm gonna continuously hold the pressure here, I'm gonna dodge his Q maybe, and that was all spacing and mechanics. That might be a little bit harder to replicate what I did there, right? Because ultimately that was all movement, and that comes from playing this year like a sweat lord. Now I'm gonna put two points in Q, and I highly recommend you do this on a lot of grand matchups because then you can be a lot more oppressive in these early levels. I usually don't pick my W. Third, I just go for a second point in Q. You see how much damage I'm dealing there? And that is what's so oppressive about Gwen in the early game. So now, I'll just snip him almost to death, right? Because the two extra, the extra point in Q, it makes a massive difference. See this damage? You can't do that with one point in Q. Goodbye. I don't know what you're doing, boss. You have no flash. You're dead. And let's get this in. Recall. x by Jim. Thank you for three months. I appreciate you. Would you ever consider going Iceborne on Gwen? Maybe against champions that have no true damage. You could consider it. Um, but I think, generally speaking, full AP is going to be your best bet. Nocturne should still be pathing at the top. I think I'll sell this, get refillable, and I'll match the TP. However, I gotta keep in mind that no uh, there he is. Nocturne is here with 24 CS. My Belvet only has 12 CS, right? So Nocturne has full cleared into the top. If you guys didn't know, every jungle camp in the game gives 4 CS. So if he's 24, 6 times 4, 
Six camps? Well, how many camps are there in the game? Six. It's not rocket science. So, knowing where enemy jungle started, both sides, and knowing where it's pathing towards by counting his CS, then we know how enemy jungle is doing, right? So, realistically, where's this Nocturne gonna go now, chat? Tell me, where is Nocturne gonna go next after recalling or dying here? Where's Nocturne gonna go? Where is he? Where will he go, chat? Bot side. Why bot side? Because that's where he started. That's where his next camps will be up. How do I know that? Because I have my early game ward. So, two habits to learn. Get the early game ward. Count as yes. GG. You know where the jungle is going. Try the nice cannon here. He's dead. Probably. Didn't get the cannon, but got the kill. I'll take that trade. Alrighties. Uh, I'm gonna reset. I don't need to play it. I do have Demolish though. I need it! No, I don't need it. Am I gonna go? Could get this. I think I like this the best, actually. Let's go. Alright! Yes, Gwen is a tank destroyer. Alright, so I can go Nash's Tooth or I can go for Rhythm Maker. Um, both are good. I'm probably gonna end up getting both anyways. Um, this guy still has his ghost, so I gotta keep that in mind. He has no potions. I have two potions, so any equal HP trade is gonna benefit me. Also, I'm level 6, he's gonna get level 5 by like one or two means. It's never going to be worth for him to trade. And yes, I use my Q there with even one auto attack, simply because I can guarantee land. Right, so you don't have to always have four stacks to use your Q. Keep that in mind too. I die just do e alto Q, and it still does a lot of damage. Right, just a short trade. <laughs> I, ooh, I like that. Well done. All right, my team's serving. I want to deny him from the cannon. Yeah. All right, there's a plant spawning in the river right now. And uh, if this Tom Kench ever walks up for more poke, then I can even skip the plant and just look to dive him straight up. So I'm going to try and bait this Tom Kench to walk up even a little bit. If he goes up for a single last hit, I can try and punish him. I got demolished for these exact reasons too, to start punishing here when he's under his third. Just dodge that. Ooh, I gotta be a little careful here. I got four stacks still. Always keep in mind that after you E, you have to at least auto attack once because it refunds five seconds on your on your E. Okay, let's push this in and uh, let's look for Scotton plant in the river. Although this guy kind of all me. Now what? Goodbye. Oh, uh, there she reset, and we're uh, we're happy. We're happy. We're happy. Shouldn't say. I think I'm gonna go this item first. So just like pressure his turret, pressure his face. This guy's tanky, this guy's tanky, right? Because he's building HP, so I, I like the setup here. That's fundamentals now, that was only mechanics. You're clenching a little bit, good to see you, Crapo. How are you doing, boss? A tiny bit, tiny bit. <clears throat> Always Rift Maker first or sometimes Nashers. I think when you play against tanks, you're completely fine to go Nashers first, because you see here, the item gives you magic damage on hit, and on hit magic damage is very good against tanks because you're generally speaking going to be auto attacking a lot more. But so Drift Maker, let's say you need HP in a matchup such as like Pantheon, right? You need some HP against this execute range, then I would always go Rift Maker simply to sustain as well. But here, Tom Ken should really never have kill pressure onto me. I don't necessarily need the extra HP, and the on hit damage will benefit me a lot. I'm just going to push this back in to punish this Tom Kench. At this point in the lane, I can get more by pushing, so freezing is never realistically going to be worth it for me. It's better for me to push, because I can get more by pushing than I could deny by freezing. Does that make sense? So by me pushing here, I can look for plates and stuff like this, right? If I freeze, I can't do that. So I can get more by pushing instead of trying to deny by freezing. I want to auto attack for my E cooldown. Nocturne should be close to level 6, so I'm just gonna hard push this wave and look for the plant in the river. There, there it is. Beautiful. We're also very close to Mythic right now. 
So, how much do we need? 750? Alright. I'm gonna be here. He is level 6. I'm gonna hit the plant. Then, either one more wave. Oh, actually, I might lose the plate here by doing this. No, we're fine. Okay. Yo, Rest Master V. Amazing to see that boss. You know, auto take every mean once. Now, I have two options here. I could insta recall, as I have mythic in base, right? But I can also look for the plate, which I want to do. I have ghost, I have ult. I don't feel under pressure too much. So I kind of want to look for the plate, because it's just one auto deck, right? Gonna dodge Q. Now, of course, the sidesteps are going to be a bit harder to replicate, right? I'm gonna eat afterwards instantly. Oh, I'm dead, actually. Um, problem? Yeah, my champion heals from passive, so uh, yeah, nice. I'm going. I might even win this. This guy has zero damage. Look at his items. He has zero damage in his items. He can't kill me. I'll just heal him. He legit heals me. Right? That's why I always press tap before going into skirmish. I check their items first. I can gouge how strong they are and get me make their decisions. Yeah, well, well. Press W for some extra armor. Goodbye. Goodbye. You guys didn't know your W, if you press here, you actually get flat 22 armor and magic resist. I didn't know this for the long. Yeah, that's just a bliss right there. Whiskey Scotch, that guy. He's just there. I bet, I guess. Anyways, you get 22 armor flat and 22 magic resist flat when you use Grand W. I didn't know that for the longest time. But that's crazy because look. How much armor does a cloth armor get? 15. So you get one and a half cloth armor when you press W. So use your W when you're about to receive damage, right? So if you hit there, because no turn ults me, I instantly press W. So, I mean, first of all, I become immune. Second of all, Brody takes a lot less damage. Me being Brody. All right, let's continue playing out the game here. I TP top because time is going mid. Uh, Kiana seems to be their only ring condition as of right now so i'm gonna get this third i have two options here i could go both and try and pressure this but to be fair i can still look to pressure this tier two as well so i think i want to continue to pressure top side here still and then once i have the tier two then like my job in top lane is done it's a job done I move to other lanes so let's try and get as much damage on the third as i can tom kench and nocturne and dragon that's a big blunder i'll get a full tier two turret now tier two turrets are one of the biggest objectives in the game in general if you guys didn't know tier 2 turrets in side lane each give 600 gold that's two kills every time you get one hey thanks for the educational content hey thank you for your support and allowing me to do this boss man i appreciate you win-win let's recall now and go both sides why to expand our leads i'm gonna place my pick one right here i really never have to come top set anymore because there is simply no objective for me here so now i'm gonna go bolt get some remainder plates try to kill them and um let's win the game through that I mean, let's sell both, right? And get this. Okay, and now we're gonna go to bot. We're gonna continuously expand our lead. We have Herald 2. So we can use Herald for this and this. And then, I mean, Sire is also offering bot. Kind of going fast in this game. Side lane or mid lane 2. You can go mid lane 2. And in fact, I'm gonna go mid lane here because I'm already too late to display right now. Here, just go like this. And if I can't get turrets, right, because we're already snowballing so hard, my next objective is going to be jungle camps. If I take that jungle camps, they can't get anything, right? I shut down enemy jungle, plus I put myself more ahead as well. So the next objective will be jungle camps. You want to fight, bro? She doesn't know how strong I am, I think. Bye. Let's get this tier 2 turret as well. Lovely! We can get this before the Blitzcrank can come to me. I'll just heal again. I won't heal. It's whiskey Scotch, that guy's built different, bro. I can't do shit against that guy. Whiskey Scotch, that guy's my nemesis. Alright, so what's my third time? That's the thing I actually don't know, Gwen. Let's see what this Korean guy builds. What does the Korean guy go in most of his games? Let's, let's do some research here, right? So he gets this very often too. So it looks like he just goes Rabadon's this game. Rabadon's this game third. Zonia's third this game. 
Shadowflame 3rd, Rabadon's 3rd. Looks like Rabadon's or Shadowflame 3rd in a lot of games. Rabadon's 3rd here. That's right. Okay. Okay. We learn. All right. So just goes full AP setup. I like it. Hello, guys. Devastation. Hello, Thank you for your prime. I appreciate it. <clears throat> okay. I'm going to go bot lane right now. Let me bot, please. I've gotten top tier 1, tier 2. We've gotten mid tier 2. The only remainder objective is basically bot tier 2. But uh, South Lion is also there, so I can't really go there right now. Where is the moon? Oh, it would be amazing if this guy dies, actually. Then I can take over and play for this. I'm gonna E to get close. Hey, this guy's my nemesis. I get the Ash as well. No! Close. Okay, well, we got all tier 2 turrets. That's my W there to basically block all the damage. Um, yeah, it looks a little bit jover for that. Look at the true damage too. Boom. I mean, it's just over. First grand game, down and dusted. Move me on. I ah! Woski's Kitsch! Oh, wait, wait, wait. Woski's Kitsch! Woski's Kitsch, yeah. G. Oh, that's all I was about to say. We've gotten all tier 2 turrets before, like, minute 15. Well, like, I minute 15. So, this game was completely over. Completely over. I think this matchup is okay for me. You can go Ghost or Ignite in this matchup. Um, I think both planting is also correct, because Garen should never be able to proc it unless we basically go head on head for the trade. Um, I will also take Armor, because it's Kha'Zix and Garen, so I just go Armor flat. And I think we're gonna go Ignite in the sweatshop. Also, because I get the double true damage against his W, so I really like this. I'm gonna go focus on my game again. We have Belbert against Kha'Zix. What is that exactly? No, next game, last game was a Nocturne, right? Okay. Uh, also, funny part, I can block Cartus old with my W. That's always a thing as well. All right, so this guy's just guarding the entrance. I just wanna... Uh... All right, let me get my ward down. Goodbye, boss. Just get my ward down, so I know how both Jones are pathing in the early game. Looks like Belvet has the intention to path the top. Kazix might want to path into bot. That would mean I'm strong side. Why? Belvet pathing top, Kazix pathing bot. So, if I look for early game health traits, it's going to be beneficial for me simply because my Belvet will be coming into top side and Kazix will be bot side. I hiking need some water because I'm talking so much shit. Look at this shit. This is still the best thing to do on Gwen. You turn into mini Gwen and then you walk around. <laughs> so silly. I feel like you always wore Tyler early. You're completely right. That is, if I, in the case that I take damage, I will still be able to recall. That's why I wore. Oh, what the? They lane swapped? Is it gonna be Carve Stop? Alright, I respect it. It's okay though. It's gonna be mildly frustrating in the early game. But just like any matchups, I'm going to look for priority. And by playing for priority, it will allow me to play the game much more consistently. Your Q is an execute. If, the, if you land your Q on means and they're like at a certain HP threshold, it will one shot them with 1k true damage. There you go. Oh, gets on my auto. Ooh, very good keys by him. My jung enemy jungler died to a buff. Poor guy. <laughs> he died to the buff. No. Where am I playing? How did he die to the buff? Alright, Charlie, we're the same thing. Two points in Q in the early game. I do this on Gwen almost every game. It's so ridiculously oppressive. Look at this damage. That was only three stacks. This will one shot, right? You see the 1k true damage? That's whenever they're like. Relatively close to dying, you can use that as like an execute. What the hell is going on? Okay. I lost a lot of HP. And Velvet or Kazik is around top side, so I gotta keep that in mind. This guy has an extra potion on me as well. But we do have a little bit of CS lead, so that's the benefit I have, right? He's been looking to focus me more, and I've been focusing more on the wave. That's why I always 
highly recommend to all of my students as well. Like one of the first things I always mention to them, especially if they're not efficient at it, is just look to last it better. It's it's such a stupid simple thing, but it's it's just so true. If you last it better, it's a skill you utilize every game, you will instantly have an edge over your opponent if you just last it better. It's hard precious wave and look to reset. Does this one shot? No, it doesn't. Okay, let's reset. Samurai is not the best. I can get book refillable. I can get book and boots. Book does dark seal, but the thing is, potions in the early game are so ridiculously broken that I, generally speaking, always want to get potions on my first reset. So I just get a refillable here. And the reason potions are so broken because this is 200 HP, right? And I can always utilize this. A ruby crystal gives you 150 HP for 400 gold, right? So I just think refillables are absolutely broken. Um, to make this point more valid, so it's like, let's say, cards comes back to lane here without any potions, right? And I come back with these items, and we both trade half HP. So he loses half his HP, I lose half my HP. If I have two potions, I get back to almost full, and he stays half HP, so I just win lane through that. He has one potion, I have two. All right, so let's try to use the last set. Play from a level 5 first. Would be nice to touch some Q's. He gets pretty good Q spacing, and my spacing is bad, but... It's okay. We're still level 5 to level 4. And remember, equal health rates are good for me, because two potions are getting one. Slow push this wave. I will get level 6 exactly from next wave, chat. The wave that comes here, so the timer I usually keep in mind is around 515, that's when you clear the wave. I'll get level 6 exactly here. Cards might not expect this, but I've lost a single bit of XP yet, so I'll get level 6 exactly, watch this. I'm gonna try and prepare that too. I'm gonna stand backwards to bait this card to walk up a little bit. I'm gonna instantly ult. So now I pretty much win my lane. Because I'm a lot of timers. Every left almost counts, especially at level 6 timer. I get to play too. Beautiful! In the chat. In the chat! Level up timers! 515. If you lost 0 XP throughout your lighting phase, you always get level 6 there. No, I don't want that. That's what I want. I don't like. That is a good tip. That is. Right? I just want my lane because I know that I get level 6 there. That's it. That's the only reason I want lane. I didn't necessarily mechanically outplay him. I just knew I get level 6. My spacing was conscious. Like knowing I get 600 waves, so I was ready for it. Kill him. Hit the plate. Wave bounce back into me. Broly has no flesh. One minute for my ult. I'm going to continuously want this wave to push into me so that this Carfus is going to be forced to walk up for last hits. And then we do the same thing. There's going to be a plant in the river right now, though. So that's one thing I got to keep in mind. He has no potions. I have refillable, right? So this is also a position where I would be looking to trade equal HP simply because he has no sustain and I have two potions. Fine. I don't have to potion here necessarily. 30 for my ult and then he's dead. I want to continuously make this way push into me, so he's gonna ridic uh, always be ridic. Always gonna be forced to walk up for last hits. And then we can look to kill him. 20 seconds for ult. There is a plant in the river, but he can't access that. Alright. Oh, slowly coming. At this point, it's just a snowball, right? It's just a snowball effect. We can maybe even get level 7 before the all in as well. Let's see if we can try and get that. We need one more me in here. And then I'm going to. Probably play on the Kenamine, right? Cards will always walk up for the Kenamine here. Oh, that right just wants to go like that. There we go. Lovely. Now we hard push this wave, hard push next wave. And um, I'll use Demolish. And we reset. Beautiful. Actually, I don't demolish this. Doesn't really change my reset, and it would ruin my tempo. Because right now, if I instantly reset, I might still have the opportunity to kill this Carthus. Also, since I'm playing against a range matchup, I like to go tier 2 boots here. So the Arbits in the early game, it's gonna be making me a lot stickier. And I also get to lane faster here. And the reason I don't go for the plate here, is so that Carthus does not get enough time to hard push this wave in. And it will continuously push towards me. Now, Cartus should be hard pushing this to try and make the wave bounce back into him, right? But even had he done that instantly, I would still be in time to hold the wave here and freeze it. And that is all because I didn't go for the plate. 
That's why we didn't go for it. Alright. And boom. Now we gotta freeze. One more minute for our ult. We're just gonna hold the wave here again. Force the cards to walk up for last hits. Remember, when is your opponent, in general speaking, gonna be vulnerable? Well, that's gonna, when they're gonna be forced to walk up for last hits, right? We got a tier 2 boots as well. So now cards in super uncomfortable position. And I set that up by not staying for the plate. So the thing that we learn here is that you gotta start learning to think ahead with your wave states. If you wanna learn how to do all of that, type exclamation mark course, bangerang. Quickly the sunlight. Teach you everything there on how to think ahead with your wave states. 20 for my ult. We just can easily hold it here. How can card display, right? 20 seconds he's dead again. He might be recalling instead though. So then we're gonna be pushing. Could be that cards is resetting here. So then I'm gonna push here to either bait him to stay or get plates. 10 for my ult. Oh, he's moving mid. Bad timer for him to move. Let's look at this. Now we're here, right? That's why it was good to push. Good reaction. I didn't see him in lane anymore. Two plates. What should Carter have done to not get there? Yeah, exactly. Respect my level 6 timer. So that he can play at the bounce, right? But he died there. And then it was just a snowball effect. Every time I just made the way bounce back into me again. I kept my tempo up high every time. And Carter continuously was forced to walk up for last hits. And pretty much continuously died. Right. I could kill this guy here again. If he cancels me once, he's dead. He has no flush yet. I'm definitely on the ward. Oh, he does have flush. Okay, I actually didn't anticipate that. It's okay though. On my next ult, he will be dead again. He can't escape me. Beautiful. Um, I think I want to go for. Hmm, what items do I actually want? I think I'll go for this. I don't think I need the HP, and this will speed up my gameplay. I'm also gonna get sweeper to deny vision instead of looking for my own vision. Yeah, there's the ward that he was stopping me with. I don't think I need this. Uh, I think it's better for me to push top here and pressure the plate before cards get back. So by going to Herald, I would kind of ruin my own tempo to be top end again, right? Alright, so Car Kaz is pretty strong. In fact, enemy team is very strong overall. So here, I was thinking of maybe zoning cards from going to the turret, but Kaz is very strong, so it's not worth it. I'm gonna be my team's weak condition, and pretty much everybody in the enemy team is their weak condition, right? Especially their bot jungle. So I'm not gonna deal with their bot jungle yet. I first need to make myself stronger before I can start dealing with their bot jungle. And ultimately, it's gonna be them against me. If they, if they kill me, they can win the game. If I kill them, I can win the game, right? So for now, I'm gonna be avoiding them until I'm stronger. I have my mythic in base. Get it to have HP. Kha'Zix is both sides, so I can play relatively aggressive here. Oh, I gotta dodge that. I don't like that Nob is doing this. Okay. Well, that was very close. But we got the turret, and I didn't want Velvet to get the solo gold, so that's why I stayed in proximity. And now we're gonna have to make a decision. Where do we open up now? Well, I can't open up mid, because apparently this guy already took the mid lane turret. What's up with the side mid lanes? I, top lane I can't really approach much, so probably what I'm gonna do here is move into bot. And see if I can expand my lead into bot lane. I think I'll get this, so I get some a little bit of extra HP. Uh, the fight is already sadly done before the time I arrive, so what I do in these scenarios is I path through mid. And when I path through mid, I can decide afterwards if I want to go top, if I want to go bot, I can basically react, right? I think here... Um, I think here it's probably best to just go to top. Yeah. Okay, Kha'Zix is here. Kha'Zix flashed. Kha'Zix hasn't recalled in a long time as well. There's three people here, and Kaisa's pathing into bot, so nobody stops that right now. So, I'm just gonna hard push. There's a blue buff spawning, and Kha'Zix doesn't have flash. So, I'm gonna invade that blue buff. In the meantime, I'm invading, like, avoiding their strong bot side. Skarthus doesn't have flash, so I can communicate that with them. Kha'Zix is not here. Just 
one shot in like that, casually. That's great for you. Also level 11 to level 9. We got to the most just for these reasons. Now the only person I'm scared of is this guy. I accidentally hit him. Okay. He's gotten a reset, right? He's gotten this full item, so I gotta be relatively careful here. Cartus doesn't have ult yet, but I should not risk my almost 1k shot down here. I got half the turret, which is pretty good progression. Okay, this is really lucky that I have this, because now I can look to push my limits here. See if I can stop this guy from the blob off. He just took it. Okay, I'm not sure where Car okay, Arthur is mid, so Garen most likely will come top. He has ult ignite, which is a lot of true damage, which I gotta keep in mind. And so let's back up. Oh, Kha'Zix is going bot side though. Let's look for the Scuttle instead. Right? I gotta expand my lead here still. How do I expand my lead? Make sure I don't trade equal resources. So if he gets a wave and I get a wave, equal resources. If I get a wave plus a jungle camp, I expand my lead. Kha'Zix might want to look here for the Scuttle. Okay, good lead. This guy should have flash again. Oh, what? He just teleported my screen. Nice. Alright, um... It's a Jenna flash right there. I'm not gonna go bolt. I can still just play for this. Garen might want to walk mid here. And I'm just gonna reset the top lane side wave to at least crash it into the tier 2. If nobody's there, I can get the tier 2 as well. But I don't have ult, so I gotta keep that in mind, right? I'm not that strong right here. So I'm gonna push out this tier... Or top side. And um, let's see what the result is going to be here. <laughs> Goomba <low. laughs> Okay. I can't progress here, so then it's just this instead. I saw Kha'Zix was pathing into bot anyways. I'm just short of my Mythic. So I think it's actually better to stay for this wave. I just gotta make sure I don't die here. I'm at level 30, so I'm gonna get a little bit of extra mana. Alright. And same thing here, I still wanna play for the tier 2 turret, or the bot 10 turret. I'm going to be welcome. Yo, Volhugo, welcome. Is that me now, the Riven TikTok guy? I don't know. Alright, let's focus. I want to get this tier 1 turret, I see two people with one person bot. Tier 2 turret gives me 600 gold. Garen doesn't have mythic yet. This guy doesn't have flash. Okay, so one for one, it's okay. Uh, I think if I actually focus the turret, this one 240 damage would have made the difference and I could have had more healing. So I kind of, I did misplay there. I should have lived, but it's so much true damage from this guy, right? I misplayed there. He got tired getting gapped in low master. Let's not even respond. I'll just mute all. <clears throat> well, he got my 1k. I got his 500. That's okay. I want to go play bot now. Why do I want to play bot? Because there's still a tier 1 turret and a tier 2 turret. I know Jenna doesn't have flash. Kaisa's like the remainder wink edition, right? It's gonna be Kaisa or Kha'Zix that carry this game. That's decent. Jinx gets a kill. I should sprint to bot to get the 250 gold, but I already can't. The, the means already do it here, so I'm gonna get the blue buff. If anybody flames Ooh, my bot, I'm front of No, almost. Thank you, Barrack Match for the tier one. Appreciate it. I mean, he spotted me, so he's gonna be walking away. Okay, so catch up. It's okay, we're gonna be super strong this game still. I saw this Korean guy goes Rabidon's dirt on Gwen, so that's what we're gonna be doing as well. Nice thing about Gwen is that's like the, the AP bruiser, right? You can still take all the jungle camps, you have sustain 3 and passive, so as long as you have mana, you're gonna be golden. I'm gonna be level 14 here, so I'm not really scared of anybody like Luka to contest me. And I can get my 600 gold here. So I'm kind of happy to sign that, honestly. Okay. Oh, I might be dead. We're gonna run away. We're gonna get kited to death here if I stay. 
5W. I have a wrap off too. Oh, let's not die. 2.3k for items, so let's play for that. I have wrap off and passive healing here, so I can heal quite a bit. Uh, one wave and the second wave is coming too, and then I'll have my item. Actually, I'll get it from just this wave. The cannonball gets around 200 gold. There's only two mailers missing, so there we go. We have enough, but let's push up next wave too. And then, I mean, what's my next plan? I'm gonna be three items. I'm super, super strong. Enemy team is strong as well, but I'm just stronger because I got all tier two turrets, right? So even I, this guy's five and one. I'm gonna be three items. This guy still only has one item. I'm spitting. I was talking. You talk a little slower. Okay. I got my three items spike now. I think my next item is going to be Zonyas. And let's see if we can fight them here. I mean, if I E ult here, he can Q though to stop my slow. I missed. Oh, I missed again. Not good. If I die, I can do dash, so I gotta be careful here. I don't have ult, I wasted it. Oh no, I eat into it. Okay, my bad, my bad. Okay, I'm playing too greedy, I'm playing too greedy. I just wanna test my damage. Ah, that's way too greedy. Not good, not good, not good, not good, not good. Not good from your boy. I'm sitting like a frog now. Oh. What is this again? Why do they never recommend me items? Oh, there we go. I mean, the next objective we can realistically play for is Nash, and we have Belved, Sion, and the Gwen to one shot Nash. I my champion one shot Nash, by the way. <clears throat> can you unmute all? Okay. We can do this, by the way. I one shot this thing. There's Cartus here, Garen here. Kaisa was bot, so she's in base. Unless she's probably recalled for her item. And she got the shot on me, right? So. And Sion is. Sion is the man. The myth and legend. Watch his damage, though. I do a ridiculous amount of damage to Nash. Voice. Well, Sion is uh, a tempo gainer. We're gonna be level 16 here. Lovely. There's still mid tier 2, dragon in 2 minutes. Anything else? Maybe look for inhibitors, right? I'm gonna get level 16. And then I pretty much can one-shot people with my ult. I will experience everything like, I never could before. like my ult is gonna be an, like it's an ability you don't really think about to dodge, but it's gonna be ridiculous damage. Watch this. This kills. You gotta get to that point where you're level 16, and then when you build this much HP, actually let's go full AP. I don't want to go Zonyas. I want to go full AP and see if we can actually like start one-shotting people. Hi, I'm the Scion. Okay, good shot, bro. Nice job. Nice ult to the enemy base. The goat. Okay. My team is pressuring this. The Garen is here. Uh, Jenna's gonna be back alive. I gotta be a little bit conscious of my mana here. Every time I use my W mostly, right? Jenny, you're kind of going melee range with me, buddy. But I respect it. <sighs> okay, I died too fast. They still have a shit ton of damage, actually. And to be fair, I mostly took magic damage. Okay, I'm playing it a little bit too gritty. I think I can heal. Like, I'm thinking I can heal too much, but of course I can't heal that much. Okay, let's quickly grab some water, because I'm talking so much. Chat. Do I just go Shadow Flame? Do I just go Shadow Flame? I think I do, right? Can you go Shadow Flame and Rabbit Dons? I don't think it's bad. 
I don't think I need this. They have zero magic resist. I mean, it's still a good item, right? I'll go this and then Shadow Flame. Cosmic? Why would I go Cosmic, though? It gives so little AP, no? Wait, how much AP does it give? 100. 100. Maybe Cosmic is better. And movement speed because no ghost. Okay, I can see that. I can see that. Okay, yeah, I can see the reasoning chat. Uh, let's group up with the team here. Let's play this out disciplined. No more deaths and let's end this game. I just one shot this turret though. <laughs> yeah, I do. I mean, are they going to defend their base? Or else I'll just, you know? Try to hit, okay? Um, where's my team at? Oh, I think that is awesome. Oh, saw the heal. Well, I could have taken this and dodged it. I could have taken the portal and dodged it if I was smart. Goodbye, the guy's three full items I know. <laughs> I mean, late game Gwen is really disgusting. Yeah, if you get some items. I think this might be our highest win rate champion after Riven. I can probably get really high win rate on Gwen. I think this champion, if you know how to utilize resources, it's a really disgusting champion. Kale matchup, that's a ghost game. And we'll take health as well. And we're taking second wind. We take the next day because I it's undodgeable CC and like undodgeable CC. Alright, this Gwen or sorry, this Kale is playing Ghost, Little Tempo, Sorcery. I'm not sure what she's running in sorcery. She could be running Nimbus. She could be running Celerity. She could be running Gathering Storm. Not sure what she's running, but we'll find out in the game. Um she's no bone plating at least. And no flesh. Alright, so we can always keep that in mind. How do you know when you take Ignite or Ghost? It's matchup dependent. Um, I want to stay close and get close towards the Kale, so I'm going to be running Ghost. The oh, they're invading right here. This guy has a D-Blade stuck as well. Hmm. Yeah, you should dodge that. Holy shit, that Morgana. No. I didn't get it. She can't recall anymore, by the way. Hello, guys, I'm Aloy. Today we are gonna do a coaching in the top lane. What? How does Ezreal still get it? I tried to wait for his auto attack. Stark, thank you so much. I tried to wait for Ezreal's auto attack, man. He still got it. Little piggy. This guy TPing. Ay, 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 ay. I wanted to want to kill at least. Man. Man. I gotta eat to get close. I don't want to lose any XP. This guy's a dagger. It's okay. <sighs> oh. oh, there goes my Ezreal shut down. I'm medium blocked. That's is not good, chat. You guys know who a good coach is? Thank you, Faithful, for your prime. That guy is good. Share boss. Oh, that guy got level 2 early, huh? Yeah, she gets priority because of the stupid dagger. She's Jean. She has no TP, so we'll make it work. It's okay that she gets priority here. I just gotta give it though, because she gets a level 2, right? You know, this is a matchup where I could pressure. Just because she gets a level 2 first, I have to respect chat. Keep in mind, later times. Now we can pressure back a little bit. There's her potion. She's W second, okay. We're gonna try and get to level 3 here. She's playing with little tempo, so she has no fleet sustain. I'm gonna use my second potion too. I'm a level 3 here. A second. She might want to E this cannon. And then I have two points in Q. Boom. Fat trade into her face. Cannon's still alive. She still wants that. And she dies for her cannon. Hey, type one in chat if you would have done the same. Type one in chat if you would have done the same. One. I'll do the same. Never leave cannon means hanging. Just die for it. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter the cost. Just die for it. Chad, you're all piggies. Why are you guys saying one? You're all piggies. If you die like that, you're a pig. Alright, make a squealing sound too then. Do I go see the art boots or blasting ones? Hmm. Let's test it. 
Let's test how good it still is. This used to be Meta Gwen. Like, he used to rush the garbage. I'm not sure if it's still correct. I'm not gonna TP here. Because she has no TP. I can pres preserve it. <clears throat> like the Darius yesterday? Yes, sir. I know what you mean, actually, paradoxically. The cannon at your level 6. Alright, she has no potions, neither do I, but I have TP and she does not. Okay. Let's stack up my Q. And let's start trading. Tier 2 boots, advantage. Oh, chat, it's a ketamine again. It's a ketamine again. Ooh. Ooh. Look at this guy! She got the cannon though. Hey, chat, type one in chat if you want to get the cannon me in. Type one in chat if you never learned your lesson too. Should have been a kill, man. What a little disgusting, greedy pig that is. Ugh. Loose cannon or draw 25? Draw 25. Draw 25. Okay, I need this wave and the plate, so I have like lasting mod, right? No, I don't. Book Dark Seal this. Book Dark Seal this. Book Dark Seal. Alright, let's go. Oh, she tried to do the ad. She tried to do the reset timer. Cancel. That's why I recall the Shaka Bush. I've mastered for the maps. Recall the Shaka Bush. Can cancel my ass. Get one potion. She just hit level 5. I have tier 2 boots and ghosts, but she has ghosts as well. I gotta keep that in mind here. Oh, oh chat, there's a cannon me again. Ain't no way she's gonna do it again, right? She learned her lesson. She did not want to draw 25 again. Honestly, I expect her to walk up again, I'll be honest. Alright, she just needs to go for one mean and she dies. Go for this mean. Ooh, good open by her actually. Still good. And the wave is still pushing into me. Oh, she got level 6 though. There's a plant in the river and it's close. My jungler hasn't recalled yet, and enemy jungler hasn't recalled yet. 6.30, alright. That's very strange. Neither jungler has reset. Crazy frog. It's very late. I already recalled three times, I believe. Her means are also 1% stronger because her team collectively has higher levels. Funny. No more, though. Alright, well, kill. You're slowly forced to walk up for last hits. How do you like your life? Boom, boom, boom. Yeah. Alright, now start pushing. Because now, she's, I'm gonna force her to either stay on the return with 1 HP, or give up plates in the wave. Let's see what decision she's going to make, chat. There's a cannon me, so she might decide to draw 25. Actually, no, she's about to get TP. She's about to get TP, I gotta cancel her. Oh, Kale. Cannon me in. <laughs> nice CBA, bro. CBA with this guy. It's too predictable. It's like the third time. He just died by going for a cannon in every time. This guy, man. He had TP! He had TP! I can't believe it. I respect it in a different, like, I, I, I don't know. Can you respect it? In, in a weird way, I respect it. Weirdo. Weirdo. Alright, it's reset, I guess. Can I get both? I can. Amazing. <laughs> Alright, let's go back. Let's still plant the river. Um, Fiddlesticks pretty strong. That's one thing to keep him. Honestly, I can see the angle. 
grasp and this shit? Who is gonna kill a full? Who is gonna kill this guy actually in enemy team? They don't have tank killers, only kill. They have zero tank killers on enemy team. That was pretty bad. I should have waited for my ghost. You know why, chat? Because my ghost will re refund faster than kills ghost. You know why? See the arbuts. You know why? No, I'm gonna stop saying that. But I shouldn't have never ulted there. I should have waited for my ghost and then all in because I would have ghost and, ki and kill wouldn't. And then I get a kill and I completely forgot. And I'm a piggy sometimes too. I admit it. I admit it. Did she go for the plant or where is she? No one said life would be easy. That is its charm. There was no cannon wipe, I guess, so I guess she was fine with recalling. Goodbye, boss. I definitely made him angry with the emotes. He is not really fond of me doing that. He's not a fan of me doing that. Did I just kill myself? Uh oh. I don't want I don't want to be it's not my birthday. It's not my birthday, okay? Come down there. Come down there, boss. My worst nightmare. I'm mean, gonna level 10 here, so it's an all in timer. Every level of timer counts, you know why? I get plus 100 HP for leveling up. There we go. If I was still leveling, I would never land there. Also, W instantly to get the resistances. And we do a little bit of wedding. Oh, look who's there, the happy birthday guy. He doesn't want to get embarrassed. <laughs> Alright, reset. I love this champion, man. I love this champion with a passion. Hey, after watching your content and seeing what the fundamentals of League top lane are, I decided to play TFT instead. <laughs> hey, thank you for sharing, bro. Amazing. Well done. <laughs> it's so disgustingly random. <laughs> I respect it. Where in this one is a champion vaulting? There is a channel. It's called champion vaulting. Okay, chat. This guy's gonna die for the cannon again. I guarantee it. <laughs> Such a shit choice. She had to like mm, <laughs> run away or leave the cannon. Get the cannon. <laughs> Get the cannon, man! She just took it like a champ. On the chin. I respect it. I respect it. Oh. Can I take this and then kill him? Thank you for the wrap of reset. Well, I'm just going to take my. Oh, Jin, I'm going to get you, by the way. I'm going to get you, boss man. It's Tavis and a tear. What's up, boss? Oh, that's not, 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 not good with you. Stop breathing, my neck. My champion is broken, I know. Alright. Gwen might or not may or may not be broken. Cool. Let's try Proto Belt actually. Let's try it. Let's try it. No? No. Yes. Let's try it. More magic panel. I don't want Rhythmaker. They have zero tanks. Why would I want Rhythmaker? Don't waste 
Alright, we're gonna play for the bot tier 2 and the bot tier 1. The full tank Katarina is killing me too. No balls of no ma magis. I'll go magis actually. The wind at my back feels so good. What does outskill Gwen? Maybe only like Fiora. Watch this. Well, that's anti climax. Good press W. Bye bye. <laughs> I mean, they're proxying the wave. But I still want to be bot, actually. I heard something. You are bad. They said it. No. Watch this. Oh, I didn't do it. You know, it's kind of funny how this scale just lost lane because of cannon means. Like he did not want to give up a singular cannon mean. And he just died like three or four times this game just for cannon means. Which is kind of crazy. Watch the proto build. Where's my merc trits? Where my merc trits? Where my merc trits? Where my merc trits? Without CDR boots, I would have lost so many kills on this though. True. Okay. Holy shit, this Katarina I built is so disgusting. But it's actually good this game. I can go for this item. I mean, I think we're gonna run through a lot of games like this where we're not gonna really have a challenge because if you snowball the champion chat, like you take over the rest of the map so fast because I mean, is there any champ- like, who takes turrets faster than Gwen? When she's ahead. Like, who actually takes turrets faster? Because the thing is, I just need 35 mana to one-shot a turret. I'm not sure if she was serious or not. Fiora? Yeah, but Fiora needs so much mana. Fiora- okay, Trondo, I can see Trondo. But Trondo's not that good in every other aspect. Fiora- Fiora's not- Fiora's not faster. Fiora needs Q every time for 40 mana, and E for 40 mana. But Gwen just presses E once and, and shreds the turret. Yorick needs a lot more time before she can he can start killing turrets. Like, look at this shit. We're all, we're the 60 minutes in, by the way. I want you to tier 2 under her nose. I don't- I think Gwen is the fastest turret for sure. Shaved his head. And Proto put back in. The one two. Oh no. My bad. <clears throat> you can even W E and stand on the edge of W and five shot a turret, lol. Yeah. Yes, inanimate, you are you are correct. Yes, you are one hundred percent correct that I'm ridiculously strong, right? But that's also because I've already taken like all the turrets on the map. And I'm able to do that because I'm 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 Gwen. Like, Nasus wouldn't be able to play that fast. Yorick would not be able to play that fast. This build is so nasty. The struggle is worth it. I don't know. I think just Gwen is one of the, the those champions that just plays the fastest. <laughs> yeah, Rocket Dog taking away this sense cooking license. It's definitely not that good. I'm missing some healing from uh, my Rift Maker. I'm not healing as much as I'm used to. Let's get Harold and end this game. This is than <laughs> Somebody me. take away his cooking lines. Oh, Alright, 
She killed me before she died just to spite me. Wait, proto belt for Magistex. Oh, 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 who who talked about the proto belt being bad? Who talked about proto belt being bad? Who was it? That's what I thought. That's what I thought. Shut up, bitch. I'll let you have a provisional cooking license for now. I respect it. <laughs> it's a test phase, it's a test phase. What about this Katarina's cooking session? It's a full tank Katarina. What is that ridiculous build? What's even going on? I didn't even want to help. I'm just looking with pure disgust at this. This build, it's a Mundo. This is not a Katarina build, it's a Mundo build! Why can you build every every item on the game on that champion, man? Gimme. Oh, please don't want to get rid of before the Nexus dies. Please. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I need to go Rift Maker instead of Proto Belt. You get so much more healing because of Rift Maker. Rift Maker is just 100% of the game. You don't ever build another Mythic. You don't go Proto Belt. We don't listen. Don't cook something random. Just go Rift Maker. I'm very familiar in this matchup actually. I played this matchup a lot. I mean, I can go Health or Armor here because at least in Nar, I think I like Health here. They have a lot of slows this game. No, Nar is not the strong early game champion. He can trade, but he's not that strong in the early game. I could go D Shield or D Ring. I think I want to go D Ring because Nar is not the strongest range champion. And um, this is definitely a game where movement speed really allows me to play because no dash, no dash, no dash, but m they have a lot of movement speed, right? With Zillion and, and uh, Jinx passive and like Oriana. Even Gnar, right? They have so much movement speed. Like this can get movement speed, this can get movement speed, this can get movement speed, this can get movement speed. So I'm thinking definitely of you know, like Rift Maker Nashers and definitely Cosmic Drive and Ghost to keep up with their amount of movement speed this game. <clears throat> I think I want to face check here. Uh, maybe go E and keep chasing with him, but I'm gonna do that at 105, 108 ish. And this is why it's because after 108 you can't recall anymore because the means will have spawned. What's this? Oh. Goodbye. Logitech sound. Goodbye. Alright, 105, 108. Let's go. Now the means have spawned, right? So if I chunk half his HP right now, he doesn't want to recall anymore. Okay, it's not here. I'm just gonna ward wrap up. Okay, it's so alright, his D should start, no D blade. Try to position myself in the bush there where I'd expect him not to queue. Usually people will queue towards the center, right? Not necessarily the edge. Now I'm looking for priority and I know I'm consciously losing a little bit of HP for that. However, by this cast I'm dying, I only need one melee mean and he might not know that. And then I get my level 2 right here and I can punish him really hard. Okay, cast I died. Got a decent trade. Still utilizing my level timers in level two. You can have W or E. Beautiful trade right there. I'm gonna put two points in my Q as I always do, especially whenever I'm pushing towards my opponents, right? So now I'm not gonna Q yet, I'm gonna wait to kill this Mian. 
put another point in my Q, and then I will start using my Q again. Oh, buddy, you're training into my level timer. That's not a good point for you. It's not a good idea. Not a good look, buddy. This guy's gonna die for doing that. Even if it's a 1 for 1 trade right here, it's massively worth it for me. I'm gonna ghost in advance. There we go. And I still have my movement speed. I'm gonna hold this wave here, and yeah. I mean, he jumped in at my level 3. That's that's just how to lose your lane 101. Jumping into somebody's level up timer. That's why you check level up timer, shit. That's it. Listen, is here with three buffs, so he's gonna take his three remainder topside cams. Um, this is a weird purchase. I'm not sure what to purchase here. I think I just go for this. Or I get boots in the potion. I don't have TP here. Else I lose EXP of two melees. I think I can get them actually. That's why I TP. Else I lose so much more. Okay. And now I can also trim out the wave by TPing. He has no potions. I have one, right? So. And again, those two points in Q, you see chat? Like, how many kills have I gotten already? Just by putting two points in Q at level 3. Start utilizing this on your own when games too. You will thank me later. Two points in Q. It's broken. He has no potion, so equal health rate benefit me. But I know that Lee Sin is still somewhere around topside. I could have utilized my W 10 times better there. Malka's going both side again. He took the topside Kato. Listen should realistically collect his topside caps and reset as well, but you never know, right? Re Listen should reset, but I can't know for a fact that he's going to reset. And I know Malka is both for a fact, so. I get level 5 here, so I like my trade. He has no potions, he's gonna get Mega here. He wants his third auto here. We'll burst that. There you go. I have 6 Conqueror stacks, 8 Conqueror stacks, yeah, that doesn't work like that, I get so much armor, there we go, I had 6 Conqueror stacks, so I was kind of ready for it, and I had all my kunans, right, so that's why I never really panicked there, now most important thing is I instantly press W, you get 22 armor flat by pressing your W, that's 1.5 cloth armor, so if you time your W well, it's one of the most broken abilities in the game, not only are you immune, you also get those resistances, and that is the most important thing to know. And then, yeah, I dodged most of their damage. Uh, Nar jumped in on a bad timer where I can one-shot him because I was level 5 to level 4. And um, I was keeping my Conqueror stacks up in between the trade as well. So there was, like, three different things I was looking at there, right? My W timing, my Conqueror stacks, and the level ups. Mango of pure life. That's unfortunate. I remember when she sewed my dress with these scissors. Now they cut a different cloth. <clears throat> Stay hydrated indeed, my boys. He's no flesh. He's just dead. He's not rep And three slows. Oh man, I suck at the game. It's okay though. He still has to recall right now, and if he dies or stays, I just dive him. Like, he's in an impossible position right here. He either recalls or stays, but if he stays, he loses the game, and if he recalls, he loses the game, right? So... <laughs> Regardless of what choice he makes, that he hates his life, so... Yeah, that's why you don't trade when the web is pushing towards you. Today, I uploaded two shorts on literally that topic, so... Make sure you don't make the mistake that Nard just made, because not only does he die, he loses two waves, and two plates, and the wave will bounce back into me, so it's like... Triple negative. You lose the game from that position. I'm gonna buy tier 2 boots here. I could go Tabis, but honestly, I like Cedar boots too much. I'm a champion. And I'm not gonna buy refillable anymore at this point in the game. I don't need it. See, now the wave's also gonna bounce back into me because these means are going to be halted here, whilst my means are walking through the lane. So by default, this wave is gonna push towards me as well. Let's uh, go for the Rift Maker. Is there any real difficult matchups for Gwen? Yes. Olaf, Darius, Trinamere, Yora. A few. Range champions are tricky. Like uh, Kenan, Timo.
Right now, the tier 2 boots advantage, so I can always get close a little bit easier. It's so broken for lane. So I'm just gonna space him here for Qs every time. Oh, I misspaced horribly. At least I was immune. I should have been dead there. Holy shit, I spaced so poorly. Well, I'm always gonna make mistakes like that as well. I'm by no means a perfect player. Now I gotta be extremely careful because my shotgun is at risk from doing that. I was really lucky with my W there. I'm kind of scared of Lissin, not gonna lie. And there's a good chance that Lissin is level 6. So... I can look for Plant in the River or I can look to reset. So let's slow push this wave. So the next wave walks into lane as well. I hope Lissin isn't here and I'm looking to reset. Aggressive. Okay, I didn't die. This is here. I'm gonna instantly W because I knew he tried to one shot me there. So I instantly press W chat to instantly get my resistance. Just get used to diving your W whenever you get burst. Like, whenever you expect any burst to come out, press your W then. Have been a little bit more immune had I spaced a little bit better and ult for earlier for life steal it's a fat shot down in his face my boy at least I don't have to TP don't go top here no like sure you don't go top here like, I really hope he doesn't go top to mess up my wave Patience, chef. Patience. I can't control his behavior. He is a disgusting pig, and we all know it. But I cannot control his behavior. It's tilting. It's 100% tilting. He's 1 in 3. He's the only one losing the game. And then he messes up my wave as well. But I'm completely winning. But what can I do about it? Nothing. So I can get as angry as I want, but it's not going to change anything for me. Fortunately. I won't hesitate. Okay, this is the point I lost my TP now, but it's okay. Make it work. Right, so this is a timer in the lane where Nars is never supposed to walk up, because it's my turn right now. Unless he plays it well. We got the full third though, but now I died twice. I didn't expect this in there that fast. No, Zero Coffee, it wasn't good to let Twitch go top there. He should just recall because he had no mana and no HP anyways. He should have reset. He was sitting on gold and I should have always ran top there and could easily progress on top, but it's okay. <laughs> Jin say go shut up you little piggy, but you're right. Load out my games, you're right. What is this build man? And anything you can build on Twitch, you got Tiamat. How did he have a shutdown? I mean he's not the smartest individual, we already made that assessment.
I can't really do too much against this Nars, just a neutralizing champion. So let's go mid instead. Switch his bot anyways. Oh, and he's going double dagger now. Right. Because that builds into his Titanic uh, thing. I don't know. Whatever it takes. Have we had this normal mid lane here? I think this is my fourth game on this account. And I've had like... I've had like two Sion mids that just go hole breaker. I've had a Katarina mid that gold that went hard steal, and now I have a Twitch mid that buys something really illegal that I don't even want to discuss. So weird as a mid lane here. Trying to give him no way to escape here, pretty much. How much for my item? 1650. I can sell my D ring. I mean, I don't think I can get this. I can try and get this, I guess. And then maybe next wave and I have it. Once I get that second item, that's when really, oh, that's when I like really start popping up on damage. Mean, now I just have it. Nice. Um, there's a bot tier two that I could play for, a tier one here. It's like low HP, right? I'm actually dead. I got a W. That's crazy, by the way. That is crazy that a flesh ignite kills me with an airy proc, man! <laughs> ah! That happens. Happens. We have two items now at least. Yo, you online, the games have been amazing. We have won every game and Gwen is an absolutely amazing champion to play, honestly. Alright, TP top. Actually, I don't like this TP that much, but it is what it is. I want to get tempo on this wave, but the wave's already kind of gone. I get a splash here. And it's good that he waited with his E. The patience by him. So how do I win this game? I probably want to play for the tier 2 turrets, right? My Tristana is pretty strong in my mod. I actually were completely fine in this game. It's just mid game, that mid lane that's creeping, but the rest is pretty strong. My gender and uh, both are doing completely fine. I go bot and I can go Rabadons, but I also really like Cosmic Drive this game because again, movement speed here, movement speed here, movement speed here, movement speed here. Cosmic Drive will allow me to get close to them and stick to them. So, goes Cosmic Drive and they can't outrun me. So this guy's on flash. So if I get behind him, he's pretty much dead. So I'm gonna do a loopsie. No, I'm gonna do a loopsie. Twitch, can you please not come to my lane? Like I really just want your presence to be not here anywhere else. Please don't be bot. Why are you here? <laughs> Young Lion, thank you for another 5, bro. Did you guys have been all insane today? We're almost at 80 subs today. Wanted to be 200? My man, thank you for your insane support. Thank you so much, bro. Okay, let's. Look. Oh! You guys know who a good coach is? I got oh, distracted. I got distracted. I said, let's look to flank and I wanted to sweep and then I spawned Harold. You know what I mean, chat? But look, the Harold is doing the thing. 
How was doing that thing, Chet? It worked! If you guys thought it was a bad Herald! You. you guys thought it was bad! You guys didn't see! You guys didn't see! Holy moly! You guys didn't see the value! Okay, this guy's like Faker. Sort of. There's still a top lane tier 2 that I want to play for. 2565, and I guess sell during as well, so I don't want to reset right now. I first want to get enough gold for my item. Thank you, Bubble Slice, for your prime. Thank you, everybody, for your generosity. This Oriana is almost three items. That guy is pretty cracked. It's a good mechanic, so. That Oriana is definitely a surf as well. <laughs> this Oriana, or this Twitch rather, is playing really annoying, though. Like, he's like, try, kind of griefing everybody. Like, look at this build. He's building three items at once. To never give this guy anything. Sells for 160, so I need a little bit more money here. Then my third item. I'm gonna continuously harass Bolt here. I'm thinking of TPing. The only downside of TPing is that I'm not gonna have TP to Nash. No, I'm gonna go Bolt. Oh, that's just need good. And I also shouldn't have ulted, so that I keep mana for my W. This guy's good. This guy could carry the game. I'll buy it. I'll buy it. What is this zombie bait? Yes, no, we're good coaches. Bro, Aloise. F King. That guy please. is good. Love the work, Alois, less than three. Thank you so much, bossman. Thank you for the two months. Thank you for your prime. Okay, this game is uh, suddenly turned into a bad game, and I've also died four times now, mostly to this Oriana, and this guy is a massive win condition now. And uh, we're in trouble, actually. I can TP here. I can TP behind the flank. Oh, so what's this song? Oh, I'm old. No, I should just went for the Oriana. What am I doing? My item though. My movement speed. Please. Slick it. Most manly screams. I'm not done cooking. Oh, God. Bang, bang. I almost entered it. Walking on the line, bro. So if I pressure bolt, my team can that Nash, right? Yes. Oriana isn't here. Isn't this guy just dead? Wait a second, chat. On the drop. Snip, snip, bitch. Come here, little bitch. Come here. Come to papa. 
That's what I thought. Okay, this song's a little bit too loud though. Okay, now we're chilling. No one said life would be easy. Uh, we had almost thrown this game, but the mid lane skirmish was good. I want 3.6k tokens so I can get the Rabadones. Rabba. Rabadones. Uh oh. We got the Rabadones now. There's gonna be a boomerang on my head. There's a boomerang coming. Watch the fadeaway boomerang. It's gonna come any second, no? Dish. Let's play for the top tier 2 now. Now I watch it everything. I don't have to pee so I can help them. This guy almost has 4 items. Yeah, I mean, I don't have to pee. If I TP here, don't I just end the game? Heike wanna test the theory, but that's okay. to that shit. Okay. One more time. Let's do some wholesome things, shit. Watch this. champion Cal good when yeah it's pretty good it's welcome okay so enemy comp I'm definitely taking I'm taking tenacity this game guess it's the nocturne right I think I should your clarity welcome yeah I think I should does this Cal like cannons let's see if he likes cannons Cal is playing flash ignite lethal tempo resolve which is an aggressive setup right it's very aggressive so two things to notice here just from the room page okay first things first he obviously doesn't have TP so I have TP advantage Second thing, he has no other ways of movement speed besides his W. I think the best rune on Kel is actually Fleet, because it offers him sustain and extra movement speed very often, right? Now, in this matchup, Kel has no Ghost now and has no Fleet. So only his W can give him movement speed. Again, also relatively low sustain, only from his W, no Fleet. So I like the setup here. I think he take, took a suboptimal setup for the matchup. I am mainly going to look to try and get priority in this matchup. Kill is pretty strong in the early game with Lethal Tempo, Flash Ignite, Resolve, right? She is a pretty strong early game setup. But after like level two to level three, I can start poking very hard. What I do every game on Gwen, almost every game at least, is select two points in my queue at level three. And that allows me to always have like presence in lane. Yo, Kanashi. Yo, the X-Men. What's up? Why do you hate Gwen so much? It's nothing wrong with this champion. In fact, it's a lovely champion. Hey, the community voted, you know, it's democracy. I can't lose this. It's democracy. LZS, welcome boss man. Yo, automatic. 
Yo, Lem Panex D. Welcome. Asta, welcome. Can we add a Kasata Yasuo to the next vote pool? I'm not sure yet what I want to add next. Is she good at the moment? Honestly, she's feeling stronger than I had anticipated. True. Um, I think she is one of the best champions from top lane when you're ahead. And if you learn how to get ahead, she feels extremely, extremely strong on two items. Okay, so let's look for priority chat. Nocturne is bot lane and he's not turning his buff. Instead, they're fighting. And Nocturne is chasing. My bot lane is probably dead, but this Nocturne is going to be delayed. Chase a deep blade. That's the first I check as well. I don't want to go for extended fights, just only Q. Get her bone plating. Again, why don't I want fights? She has little time for Flesh Ignite. She wins the extended fight. So I just only Q, get her bone plating out. My bot lane died, but Nocturne is going to be severely delayed here. That's a good trade for me. I'm not auto-attacking her much. She lost her potion. There, I trade. And again, what did I, remember what I said, chat? She has no sustain this game, right? I'm trying to get my level 2 here. Boom! Level of timers and a trade. So all I did here is I mainly avoided auto-attacks, right? Trading auto-attacks with her because she has little tempo and I conquer. But every time I try to stack my Q and trade that way instead. And that made it very consistent for me here. Now we're slow pushing into her. My Hecarim is invading, which I think is a very good plan by him. Remember, this guy also doesn't have TP, right? So the more HP she loses here, the more stuck in lane she's going to be. I'm gonna put two points in Q. I always do this on Gwen. Watch this, okay? Watch my Q poke now. She goes for last hit. I wanna stand back to bait her to like feel safe to walk up for this last hit right here. And then, boom, we poke. Let's stack up our Q again. Get our last hit in. Thank you so much for the gift and for the sub. ADC Pest Control, what a name. Right, so here, we're gonna get the ball plating out. You guys know who a good coach is? Alright. That guy is good. And I dodge out of the third range. It's hard to title it. I can explain it in a second how to dodge third aggro with Gwen like that. So basically, whenever a third shot is flying, it has a small cooldown, right? If you hit the kill whilst the third shot is flying, then the third shot can't instantly re aggro onto you. This guy's running out of mana too. And now. Kale is going to be forced to make a decision here. Does she reset or does she want to play out the bounce? So what I'm going to do here, Chad, before I recall, is I'm going to make this wave push towards me. Now, how can I make this wave push towards me? By dragging it like this, making them aggro onto me, and now they will all aggro onto this first minion. So now this wave is pushing towards me, oh, but Kale kind of has to Yo, Elden Ring, good to see you, boss. Borok Okzur. I like Elden Ring, but currently I'm actually playing Dark Souls 1. The remastered version. So now the slave is pushing towards me. How much gold would I want on my reset here? I want book and a dark seal, which is around 800 gold, right? So now the slave is pushing towards me. Cal's recalling. I've got TP. So Cal loses a full wave here. Now, you might be wondering, how big is it actually to lose a full wave in the early game like this? It is massive. Because a normal wave gives around 130 gold, right? Just in gold. But she also loses the EXP. So EXP and gold combined, she loses around minus plus... Mm, 200 gold so yeah now let's try and get a level 5 we'll get it first and look for small threats i've opted to not recall instead i'm at level 5 here so i can actually fight there we go and why do i win chat because i have the 100 extra hp of my level up and i kite my w she used both summoners even though she had the item lead i was a level up now her item gives her 350 extra stats but every level up gives you, on average, around 600 gold worth of stats. So even though it doesn't show in my items in my inventory, I was stronger there. You get around 100 HP, you get armor, magic resist, damage, all that nice stuff, right? That's why I was so confident to fight there. And this wave should bounce back. Ooh, Nocturne is topside there, though. Well, there we go. We don't have to TP. I don't think I have to contest here. This wave will bounce back into me, so I'm not forced to TP. And soon i will be level six remember kale has no movement speed no ghost only her w right so when i get six and i initiate the fight with her she pretty much can't escape me if i all in her somewhere close to my side of the wave right so she just hit level five i'm gonna hit level six without her realistically knowing from like three melees here so let's see i want to try and get her bone plating out right here so i got that out now i need to alt attack and try to mask my level six um, maybe not the best approach here. Okay, not the best approach. No, that was not good. My E was still on cooldown for too long, but she will have to recall here and she loses a full cannon wave. It's okay. 
But uh, I learned from this. I shouldn't E like that. I should keep my E up and then uh, I would have killed her. But that's okay. Doi is still pushing towards me. Kale is forced to reset. So she loses a full cannon wave here. Plus the full next wave. A full cannon wave is around 200 gold worth of resources, right? So she loses that in terms of gold. She's losing the EXP and the wave is still stuck here in a horrible position for her. One thing to keep in mind around this timer in the wave is that there's a plant going to be spawning in the river. So right now there is a what I refer to as the Fuerimento snake. It's in currently in the river. So I always gotta keep that in mind, right? At this point in the laning phase, whoever gets there first can get some very beneficial traits in lane. Um, my ghost and ultimate cooldown are going to be relatively in sync, so that's good. And I think my next reset, I want to look for 950 gold. I really want to see the boots. They're really broken in these kind of range champions or in these range matchups. Let me slow push it back into kill because my mains are also two percent stronger. That is because we collectively, as a team, set out four percent after a level up, right? Us, collectively, as a team, have like higher levels than our opponents. So that is why our means become stronger to like balance out the game, right? If I'm a higher level and the wave is pushing towards me, it would be very unplayable for an enemy team. We're just slow pushing here. I think I want to slow push this wave as well and then hard push next. And why do I slow push this wave? Because this wave gives me 200 gold and I want 130 gold from next wave as well so that I get 950 gold on my reset and I can just reset for CD Arbus, right? Remember, I said, how much gold do I want on my next reset? 950. So, let's calculate the gold that we need from the waves to get other... If anybody plays my wallet, right. I'm permabending. See you, Love you. Yo, right back at you, bro. Thank you so much. Thank you for the support. Alright, let's get this shit in. Can I, re can I like, last it so I can get my 950? In fact, I'll, I, I got my bone plating. Or demolish, rather. Alright. Let's get the CDR boots. The beautiful thing about having CDR boots and TPing is that will instantly refund how much? 12% of my TP cooldown as well, right? You get summoner spell, hey, so it's beautiful too. Yo, Likoi, thank you for the tier 3. I didn't even see it was a tier 3. Thank you, bro. That's crazy. Thank you for your support, boss. I don't want pings, why? Right? Because I know, bitch. Thank you so much for your tier 3 for two months, man. Alright, let's get a level 8. Alright, that sucks. Get our bone plating out. She's running out of mana. I'm just gonna trade ults here. Because I have way better CDR. Or you just don't react. Bye bye! Hey, chat, what did I do? Play with my wave state. Made the wave bounce back. Get my item lead. And then we just out for to him. And then we kill him. Because, like, look at our item lead, right? And we did that consciously. Playing into waves. Then set up the waves in a good position. So it bounce back in three. And we get the kill. This is all replicable. You guys can do this too. Learn from it. Don't feel like I did anything special there in the all in. Besides, maybe space appropriately. But if you guys play Gwen enough, you can do that too. I'm gonna get level 9 here. I'm gonna press W instantly. She's angry. <gasps> I might be dead. Chat, we might be dead. Okay, we're chilling. Let's go. Um, so what item do we go first? I could go for this or this, but I like this because it snowballs harder and I can kind of buy both here, I believe. Can I? Hello guys, I'm oh yeah, we definitely buy this. The Jerome! 14 Hope you're months. having a great day, sir. I'm having an amazing day. Even better now that you're here. Thank you so much, bro. We don't get to be full HP. Let's go back. Show runes. Yeah, you can't see it because of the, the, the course thing. Sorry. I can tell you my runes exactly. Conqueror Triumph. Tenacity. No, con Conqueror. Presence of Mind. Tenacity, last stand, then demolish, and second wind. There you go. Yes, Rendar, I know what you mean. Okay, Rendar, I got you. <laughs> okay, let's play with tempo. Kale is no flesh, no ult. Actually, she has flesh. No, I think she has flesh. Nocturne has ult, so that's one thing I gotta keep in mind. I need 750 gold for an item, so I can just play for that, theoretically, here. I don't necessarily have to kill her to expand my lead. Oh, mamma mia. I got the blade. Ah! We got the item, though. It's an okay death. We do give a fat shot that away, 200. But we trade one for one. 
My Hecarim gets the Herald. We proxy the wave, so we're not gonna lose much. We got the plate. We got the one for one. Zerath has to recall, so we're gonna get plates in mid. Hecarim gets Herald. This is a good death, right? I should lose too much here in lane as well. Maybe she gets one plate, but at least I proxy the wave and then made my move. So I die on my turn. Those deaths are okay. Yo, Slowcrack, good to see you. Yo, Artyom. That's right. And hey! Right? Where are you plates? GG. Okay. Let's get this turret before minute 14. Keep expanding our lead that way. We've only gotten two kills on this guy. We go Riftmaker, you don't go Protobelt. I tried Protobelt yesterday. No bueno. You want like the 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 I mean, this gives on the vamp, right? Yeah, it gives on the vamp. That's why it's all good. Level 10 death is bad death. Yeah, I guess. Sucks that I level up from the kill. Because uh, the cooldown becomes higher, right? But we have our full item now. This item makes you very strong. So Kale has to choose now. Is she going to defend the turret? If she does, I'll get the turret under her nose. I'm going to make this guy make a decision. You want to defend it or not? Right? It's kind of a really awkward decision for her to make. Now she has no turret. So now she dies. I tried to bait her there. I tried to make it like a force to pretty much make a bad decision. Goodbye. That's my favorite. Ah! No! Q! I was the tier 2 turret, I could have got a tier 2 turret. Why are you here, Zero? Why are you here? Why are you just making me suffer like that, man? I almost had my W. It's okay. I got Nash's 2 tier because it snowballs harder than Rift Maker. It makes you faster, makes you hit turns faster, makes you kill people faster. I don't necessarily need the HP here. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to continuously go top here to play for the tier 2 turret first before moving bot lane here. Their bot is pretty strong. I will have my TP to go to bot. If I find a good TP opportunity, I will utilize it. But until then, I want to first play for this tier 2 turret in top lane. And once I've gotten that, which is... Which is... The word disappeared. Which is 600 gold, then we'll start expanding our lead across the rest of the map, okay? You can go Rift Maker first as well, but this game I just went for this. It feels good. Yeah, Jerry, since a month now, I've been going to the gym four to five times a week. Since a month now. I'm trying to stay consistent. I'm gonna do the same thing. Look, this is also because of Nash's Tooth. Alright. Just don't lit hit a single ability, Alois. Clean. It's okay though. We need 1500 gold, so. Oh, here you are again. My little friend. Push out for 1500 gold. I can always sell the D ring as well. Gym fundamentals, well. Yeah, we got gym fundamentals as well. Also, diet fundamentals. Check out my Twitter chat. Go follow the Twitter and the Instagram. We'll share it. GG. I'm doing some diet fundamentals too. Just to get healthier. Artyom, thank you for T1. Appreciate it, boss man. Alright. Let me bot, please. So now we go to bot chat. Now we're gonna expand a lead on top, right? I don't necessarily need kills to get ahead. I play for natural resources. Natural resources in League of Legends? Yes. What are natural resources? Side waves, jungle camps, and turrets. Turrets get 300 gold each. It's going to a kill. Every side wave is almost a kill as well, especially cannonballs. They get 200 gold and XP. So we play for the natural resources here. I wanna get these turrets. I have two items. I'm very strong. I wanna go play for that. Also, their bot lane is probably their win condition, so shutting that down is a good idea. Unless you're Alois and L, and you can't let ult. I'm very good at missing my ults as well. Uh, that ult kind of blows. So, in theory, I would want their bot lane right now to kind of go mid. That would make me very happy. Okay, or we just kill it with Pablo Escobar right there. And now we can play for this turret. Wonderful. And now we keep expanding our lead. Do 
You wanna hit me? That's what I thought, bitch. Oh! Get him, Bart! Hit him with it! Get him, boys! Two items! So we killed our bot lane shot on that win condition, and... I need to hit so I get my E refunded. You wanna defend this, buddy? I don't think so. Okay, I shouldn't be too greedy now. Let's really go. Let's get away from here. I would love this. Oh, yes. Wait, you're walking up to me? Where's my W? Hello? Hello? What are you doing, Alois? Alois, what are you doing? Don't play for kills, you pig! See, this is what you don't do, chat. This is what you don't do, okay? So... There you go. At least this guy flashed. So it's gonna be 22... 80. We got that timer. Hey, this guy's not flashed. That's okay. But hey, yeah, he should not be that greedy. My team cleans it up, though. Beautiful. All right. What's my next objective? This teacher turret. Yes, I am a greedy pig. I'll make the pig noise. Okay, my bad. All right. So let's scout some items here. I'm level 13. Everybody's like level 10. Only this guy's relatively strong. This guy's that wing condition. But my Jace has been able to free farm because Zeros is perma roaming to me. My bot lane is in a pretty good position now. I shot on their bot lane. This guy's no flesh. I'm playing for the bot lane tier two. Uh, decap second, I think it's terrible. I think these two items are core for Gwen. Yo, Baxter, please go welcome. Oh, this guy's no flash. Oh, Vayne, you got a rep up that I like. That's a bit grievous. Let's go, bitch. Goodbye. Thank you for the rep up back. Yeah. Alright, let's play for the tier 2 turret. That gives me 600 gold. That's what we refer to as natural resources. So, Kale is here. Nami is here. Zelda is here. The only person that can pretty much try and shut me down is Nocturne. Vayne is still dead for 18 seconds. I want to try and utilize that. Because I have tempo over them right now. Alright, kill that. Vayne that. Nocturne is the only person that could be here. Okay. You keep that in mind. Look at how fast I push turrets. And this is why I love Gwen so much. I have three casters, and I pretty much still demolish this main turret. How crazy is that? That's why I think Gwen is one of the strongest champions. I should... Oh! But my W instantly for resistances. I'm level 14 here. Level up timers! I still look at my... Ah! Ah, I... Ich bin tot. Ah, 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 Yeah, shoot five more, bro. I can definitely play the game. I still look at level up timers there, though. Hey. Alright, chat. We got tier 2 turrets in top. We got tier 2 turrets in bot. We're gonna get third dragon here. What's my next objective what I'm playing for? What's the next natural resource we're gonna be playing for, chat? What should we be playing for? Baron Ashores. That's our next step. Let's get this third dragon and get the Baron Ashores. We got three items. Nobody's even gotten two items. How is that possible? Because we are natural resource farms and they are not. I don't care if Vayne is bot, I want to play for this right now. I'm gonna get an AD timer for my teammates. If Kale pushes this, I'll tip it up. I don't want her to get shit. I want her to eat shit. Kidding. In game, by the way. Alright, let's push this out. They kill the Vayne here. Nice, they kill the Nami. I'm gonna spam ping this so my teammates know that's not what we should be playing for. Right? Communicate with your team. Natural resources, chat. Natural resources. Keep it in mind. Keep it in mind. Bro, I need new emotes. I need a natural resource emote. I need a fundamental scuttle. No, fundamental... Fundamental... Whatever, bro. Plant emote. And I need a fun fundamentals emote. True. I need to... I get a bang artist. Okay. So how fast I can do Nash? 20 minutes, by the way. But I got three items, so... <laughs> kind of makes sense. This guy got Mercs, this guy got Witsend. So, I'll probably go Void Step next. 
Let's keep pushing side waves now. We got Nash, so let's try and open up their base now. That's my next objective. I don't necessarily need um, jungle camps anymore. Because keep in mind, chat, whenever you have Nasher, you realistically only have Nasher for around six waves. My entire team is in base right now, so it's best for me to actually also reset. Now, this item, in general speaking, is kind of useless, but I have 1100 gold here, so we get it. Anyways, I'm gonna ping the red buff because I want when I'm gonna really greedy, greedy little bitch, so I'll be definitely taking that. Let's go. Yeah, the fundamental snack, that's the one. Why is Vayne in the middle of nothing? Alright. Respect it. Gotta keep in mind that there's only six waves of Nasher, so I'm not gonna take more jungle camps. It's a waste of time, it's a waste of tempo. Let's look to go top. My teammates are pushing me. We have Haroldus. I'm still gonna go top. Still gonna go top. <laughs> First time catching your stream and seeing your great educational content on YouTube. I'm excited. Hey, Lon. Welcome. Enjoy your stay. Hope to see you more often. Alright, let's keep it going. What's up, Inting Pigeon? Where's my damage? Hello? Okay, if I miss anything, then I guess I deal no damage. True. Oh, mama mia. Gwen is immune! Gwen is not immune anymore. Gwen is broken. Get a Bart. Get a Bart! You got the ultimate! Alright, that didn't do shit. Hacker, we got ult in like two seconds. Alright, my team gets this. Look how fast I take NFs as well, man. It's ridiculous. Dish, 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 dish. Uh, I mean, we can get bot wave, so. Let's get level 16 as well. Oh. Right, we're level 16. The vein is pretty much the only threat to me, right? Okay, no. Vayne is alive again though, that guy got 3-shot me, you gotta keep that in mind. Uh oh, I need my W. Goodbye! <laughs> oh, she lives! Oh, oh. No! I am scared. I, I am scared. Dude, every E auto deck I just sustain. Look at this. Dish. Dish. I have life too. Okay, I'll move them. Try to see that bitch. Alright, let's get a stopwatch. A chat. Let's limit test, okay? Let's see how strong we actually are now. Let's limit test. Let's go. Let's go! Mama did not raise a bitch! We have four eyes, we got stopwatch. It's time to get some people. Why did I get hit by the bubble? Get my penta. I couldn't get an auto in. So now I don't have E. That kills. Okay. Hey, this guy's been terrorizing me whole game. I should dislike this guy. Well, I'll take it. Goodbye. Goodbye, everything. That killed the vein. That ultimate killed the vein. That ultimate killed the vein. Go and abuse it, XD. Not wrong. Yeah. Well, chat. Type 1 in chat if you learned something new this game. If you did not do something new this game, you did not pay attention. You better learn something new this game. It's oh, I'm playing against Garon. It's probably a ghost game. Can also take Ignite though. Let's see. Alright, we need Tenacity for sure. Look how small I am right now. And if I walk. No, oh, but we're fighting. Uh oh. I'm not sure about this one. Oh. Oh no. Okay. Garen wants to recall. And I don't want him to. I hit somebody. Alistar. Alright, delaying his recall is really sucks for him. Hey, <laughs> little bitch! 
I'm gonna do it one more time. Oh, okay, now it's angry, now it's angry, now it's angry. I smell it. He's mad now. Oh, this is a mad cow. The mad cow. <laughs> what is he going top lane for? I'm scared of him, bro. Yo, laugh tail. Thank you for Prime. Hello, I was watching all of your YouTube videos that I was gold for. Now I deleted leak because you say a lot of information my mind can't handle. Yo, <laughs> what is Alistar doing? <laughs> nah, he said enough of me canceling his base. He's like, you know what? <laughs> I'm gonna lay top lane. Just to spite this Gwen. Uh, just reset, uh, just, uh, yeah, re re you know, guys, uh, reset timers. Now cancel the reset and mind control them, I guess. And now, <laughs> now he's laying top. <laughs> what, is, <laughs> what is even going on, man? Hey, <laughs> CBA. Is Lucian laning? Yeah, I guess. Wait, shit, they hit level 2. What is that shit? Why are we just like 2v1 now, man? Okay, Alistar. Calm down there. Don't be too good at the game. Okay, let's get... I'll get rid of this piggy for you. I got baited! I got baited! I got baited! Alistar's the greatest player alive here. Alistar is the greatest player alive, chat. Alistar is the greatest player alive. What can I say? Let's focus now. Okay, I'm actually annoyed. I'm actually annoyed. I died to that shit. I can't believe it. He mind controlled me. I got mind controlled. I got complete mind control, chat. All I had to do was not die. Because they were sharing EXP. At least Garen hasn't recalled, I guess. I'm gonna only slow push. There's an L star again. Please don't give it to Garen. Please, please, please. We're gonna have some trouble, shit. There's a 2 0 Garen in lane. That is nicht gut. Gar nicht gut. Sehr schlecht. Yeah. Unglaublich. Nicht gut stuff. What is this guy doing, man? Yo, Swords, good to see you, man. This Alistar is the greatest player in the world, I believe. He's no flesh though. So he should be dead now. Ain't no way he's gonna get more from the from his gameplay. We got another cannon in. This guy's full berserkers, bro. This guy's decked out. That's not a good trade by him though. I hit a meme, and I missed my Q. Lovely. Next, go for the cannon, go for the cannon. No, you want to. Okay, now let's recall. I mean, we're still fine. I can get CDR boots here or a Blasting Wand. What should I do? Should I go CDR boots? Hmm. Yes, I think I do. Because he has tier 2 boots as well. I think this is good. <clears throat> I got some chocolate left, let's go. Okay chat, one second, I can't speak. Is that chocolate? Healthy chocolate in my mouth. Hello guys, I'm Aloys. Back out, we were back! Come here! I remember when she sewed my dress with these scissors. Now they cut a different cloth. Close level six. Oh, I predicted this movement there. Oh, what is this? There's a plant. There's a plant in the river right now. Thank you so much, Zero Dragon. Gwen Gaming. Yes, sir. Yeah. Oh, no, not sir. Thank you so much, Zero Dragon. I appreciate it. 
Thank you for four months already. I hope you're doing the... Hope you're doing amazing. That's not good. Hey, he's sustaining too much, man. And he is old. And now he's got to reset. Not bad there. <laughs> that sucks. Ah, he's gonna get the kill. And then Massey is there again. Mmm. That blows. Alright, the game's not looking too hot, but at least it doesn't have flash. So, we got that going for us. Hmm. It's gonna level seven here. I think this Garen is gonna feel safe to fight me because he's gonna have ult and ignite. But I'm still pretty strong here because I'm going to be level 7. So I hope he tries to fight me in this wave. Oh, he has a whip already as well. This guy's completely decked out, man. And he doesn't fight me. Unlucky. He knows about the level of timers. He knows has the item lead. Wow, that was good moving by him. I'm not mad! You're mad! At least it was the wave, so it's like still good, but I would have loved the shutdown. Try to zone from the XP so it doesn't get level 7, they still got it. What are you doing, bro? What are you doing, bro? That's why you don't walk up when the wave is pushing towards you! That's why you don't wait. Yeah, you get the point, chat. So, who's the stronger champion? Gwen or Garen? Hmm. Looks like it's Gwen. This guy was 2-0 up. But I had a level lead and he still traded. So even though he had the item lead, I had the level lead plus the wave lead. His mistake, what he should have done there is just let the wave push into his turret, collect it, then play the bounce. He has the means advantage, he's the equal level, then he can fight. But he ended. <laughs> There's a matchup where I'm definitely gonna go Riftmaker first because I need the HP against this Ignite Ult combo. Uh, okay. Alois, what to do if enemy stays under turret and play not aggressively at all? You expand your lead through different ways. You don't have to only get a lead through killing your opponent. You just make sure you don't trade equal resources. So you get a wave plus a plate, you get a wave plus a camp, you get a wave plus a roam, stuff like this. Expand your resources without killing your opponents. No or you make the wave bounce back into you, so he's forced to walk up for last hits. If you continuously push into him, then you can't do much. As our stop again, chat. We gotta be careful. I see he's here, level six. He's gonna pass into bot. I'm kind of scared of Alistar, Not gonna lie. I'm gonna make this wave push towards me by doing this. So I'm dragging the minions here, and what that does is gonna make all these minions I go towards my first minion now. Like, they're all gonna hit this. Um, why is this guy walking up like this? That is why he's doing that. Obviously. They have Herald. I'm not sure if I maybe landed some more abilities, I could do something more, but... Let's go! We've got the boys now! We've got the boys now! Oh, that was an unnecessary flash, I'll be honest. They overstayed their time, well, beautiful. Guys, that lives. Well done. Wait, how's Illusion 3 and 0 when Alistar lane top the first 3 waves? Rakan has ult. Should be free. Kha'Zix should be here as well, but it's okay. Rakan has to start. Okay, he kinda dodged all our damage. 
Okay, you played that pretty well. I gotta give that to him. Sucks I don't get the kill, because then I would have enough gold for a mythic. I need... How much do I need? 1050, okay. So Ricky as was scared he gets back you. Yeah, that's okay, I don't mind that, bro. Okay, I got item. Go, I bolted. He walks up his ditch. Judgment has come for you, bitch ass. I should recall here. But the plate! But the plate! Okay, let's recall. Let's recall. Let's recall. Doesn't even change my recall. But hey, we got the plate. Sometimes you gotta. Sometimes you gotta let the intrusive thoughts win. Now we want the full turret. So, chat. How can we... We're, we're in a lead right now. Okay? We have a lead. First and foremost, let's not lose our lead. Okay? Let's not lose our lead. What can we do? Play for this tier 1 turret. That's my first goal. The dragon is falling in 30 seconds. Massey still has Herald. So, we're going to keep that in mind. He could use that bot lane. Most likely, if I'm Massey, if I'm Massey right now, I'm going to use that Herald bot lane to secure the turret. So... I'm gonna try and hard push this as fast as possible. And I'm not going to move. If Garen moves, what I'd be doing instead is looking maybe even for a tier 2 turret. Keep pushing here. Okay, here I'll admit instead. It's okay. So now I have two options. I can keep pushing top lane here, or I could make my move as well. Garen is still mid, so I have tempo, right? Because he's pushing up mid. My bot is dead already. So here I'm going to decide to stay top and get the tier 2 turret. Why? Natural resources. This tier 2 turret gives me 600 gold. So I'm going to stay top. I'm not going to move mid. I'm not going to move to my team here. I'm going to hold. There we go. Well done. And I'm going to play for myself. Be selfish if you want to carry games. You just have to. Oh, close. Missed some abilities again. I'm gonna get a blue buff as well, and then let me bot. Please. Why do we go bot chat? More natural resources. Bot tier 1. All that good stuff. So now we're gonna go into bot. I don't have my second item yet, so I'm not that strong. I need 2.7. I wanna get a blue buff though before I go. Oh, I don't like that guy. I hate that guy actually. I will TP to bot. Garen is still mid. Garen still hasn't recalled. He's still on this item. And Garen needs to recall because there's enough gold for Mythic in his base. Lissandra can go mid or Lissandra can go bot. So I have tempo over the Garen. Why? He's still supposed to recall, right? So I have tempo over that guy. And Lissandra could come bot or she could go mid. Because Garen has to recall. So somebody needs to take over mid wave. Lucian and Alistar top. Masty could be bot. That's the only guy. Okay, Lissandra is here. Sucks. Garen hasn't recalled yet, so now I could move, I suppose, because Lissandra has no TP and she's going to stay bot, so now I could move and get numbers advantage. This would be a good move. Rakan is ult, Arya is ult, this is a good fight. Lissandra can't be here, she was late, Rakan just has to go in. I can't ping more though. My teammates could have gotten way faster, but it's okay. We still get a lot of flashes, we get all the subs. <laughs> and the bottle is bouncing back into us because I crashed into the tier 1 turret. Let's go. Okay, that was mechanics. That was pure mechanics there at the end. Okay, we got two items, we don't need full HP because we've owned the web, let's go bot and let's look for our natural resources. Herald is up, so I'm not gonna go to Herald. Why? This Herald doesn't give me as much resources as a tier 1 turret would give me. In fact, I hope enemy team plays for Herald. Why? Because it will give me tempo towards both side. If they all play for Herald, who's gonna stop me from going bot? True. True. The sun is dead, no TP. Garen, not sure where Garen is at. Alright, this is gonna be the first game where we can test how good Gwen is at 1v9ing. Let's see. 
Remember, I started this game against a 2-0 Garen. The guy was 2-0. So we had to crawl our way back in this game already. Oh, I didn't hit the turret. Looks like they're playing for health, which is good for me. He has full mythic. He used E. That's most of his damage. Look how fast I take turrets. My life steal. I got my two items spike. Of course I'm stronger here. And now we're gonna play for two to turret as well. We need to wait for the wave, so we do golems quickly. Alright, it's the same thing every game. Where can I get maximum natural resources? Like, this guy's a 1k shutdown. Good game. Good game. I assumed him to not have summoners. Why? Because he just fight a Kha'Zix in top side and he lived with like 1 HP. Now I'm gonna back off because I'm scared that to lose my 1k shutdown to the Master E. Master E is Herald again as well. This wave won't really bounce back into me, but I've double. Um. Literally raw shots, so I'm happy here. <laughs> this side kind of sucks right now, but it's okay. We made sure we didn't die. We got the one k shot down from the Lucian. I again assumed he had no summoners because he was fighting the Kazakhs here, and the Lucian lived with one HP. So here I went in without my ult, kind of guessing that he wouldn't have summoners. If he had summoners, I would be dead. Bro, you just skinned that Garen. Yeah. Taking this whilst the way he's pushing towards me to maximize my own income. Good roll over here. Already has no ult though, but just flash. This guy might want to herald. Oh. I wanted that kill, bro. Alright, it's fine. Already get some kills too. I'm bottling! I would want my own resources. Okay, let's go top instead. I go top instead to cancel them. My team should get a dragon without me, so I go top to deny the Lucian for more resources. I want to go both because I want to play for tier 2, but it's fine to go top, or to top here instead as well. I guess pushes out all the way. Because my teammates are going bot and I'm not going to fight them for it, so I go top instead. The funniest champ from the challenge thus far was Garen. I think the best champion thus far after Riven is Gwen. In terms of 1v9 potential. Hmm. Yeah, we should get it. He was dead, right? Lucian Flash, I'm gonna ping that. Push this out instead. I don't need to move there anymore. They'll come to me. See, chat, I'm not chasing for kills. I'm playing for neutrals on the map every time. These natural resources is what I play for. I'm not gonna chase them for kills. I don't have to. Look, they'll come to me. I'm taking their shit. Right, they want to come to me. Alright, they're not coming to me? Alright, then I take a second one. What are you gonna do about it? Okay, I might die for it. I almost have my E again. I do get two turrets, but I lose a 1k. But to Alessandra, it's like, I care. I care. Low deaths win games. That was not worth it. They could even do Nash now, maybe, actually, if my team dies. Oh, shit. Ah! And we might lose this tier 2 turret, because my teammates are not having the best macro ideas. Hmm. I mean, Garen got a tier 2 turret here, that kind of blows. Okay, well played to my team though. Pretty pretty well done. Okay, I'm gonna go to Botland as well, get that tier 2 turret. My team should be fine here. No Sandra Flash, I'm gonna ping that. It's gonna be 25 50 mid. Oh, you didn't get a tier 2 yet, buddy. I'm gonna just play with the wave. Maybe I should have walked to my team to get Nash. Oh. SQ removes my slows. It's okay. I'm 
Now my Ari is pretty strong too, my Kha'Zix is pretty strong as well, so we're in a good position now. And I still have a tier 2 turret to play for, so that's what I want to do and prioritize... What are you doing, buddy? Level up order for Gwen. I go Q, E, Q, and then max Q all the way. And then E, then W. I have 30 for my TP, they better not suck Nash, that would suck. Uh-oh. And my castle just recalled. I need. I cannot show myself here. If I show myself, they do it. I mean, they have it even before I arrive. Yeah, I don't have to pee. It sucks that my teammates are just randomly dead. I don't know why. Where two people are dead and Kha'Zix recalls. I can't control that, right? My team just randomly griefed me there. Even if I run, I'm too late. I don't know why the boys are randomly dead. To what even? But it happens, and we gotta keep our own focus here. I need to get level 16, and I need to get my fourth item. Then we can carry this game. I got a hole breaker now. It's kind of hard to kill Garen for Gwen because his Q removes slows and his face removes slows, right? This should give me level 16. CP. I'll buy this and then I can TP here. I gotta be careful, Lissandra, though. That's my only fear. Actual damage against this guy. The Sandra CC is the only thing that counterplays me, right? I can't do anything against that CC chain. Rakan still is old. Nice. I have four items there, so I felt very confident. And I pressed EW, and I stayed just in my W range, so the Sandra can't even W or Everfrost or ult me. Gwen is immune. Well, I think it was a good example of a 1v9 game. My mid jungle played somewhat fine, but... Oh. Slice the cow up. He's a beach. Nice. GG! 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 Why is everybody playing Garen? <laughs> everybody plays this champion now, man! I think I need double tenacity this game as well. Like, for real. I got this, and this, I want my bone plating, but it's like, CC, 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 Dude, this is, this is so weird for me, you know? It's so, it's still super weird for me to get in the game, and like, have people recognize me in general. I better not be getting stream sniped, by the way. I have a feeling I'm getting stream sniped. <laughs> Why Aloy doesn't advise on range top? I can place on range top. Maybe maybe next vote we should do range top. Like Timo, Nar, Jace. Something like that. Let's see. I can barely breathe. This guy gets level two from the first six years. Cannon? Yeah. I'm not that much of a pig, am I? Rivi Lotto! Wait, oh, now, now, now you're. Okay, now you're partner again. Rivi. Rivi Olit TV. Thank you for Prime Boss. What? I need to get my Q. Stack that shit up. Alright. Fiddlesticks is doing two camps at once. Crazy. I'll try and punish him if he goes for last hits here. I'll do it here for one min. 
good into level two if he walks up like that. <laughs> Chat, do an awkward second wave crash here, but this is very nice for my champion. It's like not crashing into the turret, it's like gonna hold a little bit in front of the turret here. But this is okay for me because that puts me in my Q range here, and I'm gonna get level three. And then I'm going to be permanently able to arrest him with my Qs here when he goes for assets like that, right? So the wave is going to continue to stay here for a while. We get my second point in Q here. And that's why Gwen is very nice at abusing awkward crashes like this. Oh, I juggled into the territory. That's what I got. Thank you so much for the primers, chat. So many primers today. Thank you. Any Twitch primers! Full Twitch prime loadout. Thank you, chat. Get the cannon. That sucks. That's is not good. One more minute for level four here. Okay, we've got another primer. Let's go. Good W timing by him. I kind of want to slow push this wave, hard push this wave, get my blasting one to reset and TP, similar to how we did last game. Right, we're doing the exact same thing we did last game. So the faster I hard push this wave now, the faster I can recall and lay lock this Garen. So here, my my all attention is mostly going to be on the wave, not necessarily on the Garen, unless he makes a big blunder like this. Hmm. Do we play for the dive chat? Let's do it. If we trade one for one, it's even worth it. He's no W. He's not gonna get level five before. I EQ'd ignited, but I didn't E, so he lives now. Goodbye. 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 Hey, thank you for another prime. No Hayden. Anyways, I pressed EQ ignite there, but I only pressed Q. You know what I mean? He walked up and the wave was pushing towards him. That's his blunder. Last game the Garen didn't. This Garen does. This Garen is in thing. Lane is over. Gwen is such an oppressive early game champion. Now I'm considering buying tier 2 boots instantly. Tier 2 boots are just super good on Gwen. Especially when you're already ahead. It's gonna make the cooldown on my TP a lot slower too. He's buying tier 2 boots early as well. So I think I'll just do this. Get these. Get these. And I'll TP here. Because else he can pretty much get this wave in for free if he hard pushes. And I want to try and avoid that. Get him a level 6 here. Try to stop him. However, Fiddle 6 is realistically going to be around topside again maybe right now. So, keep that in mind here. I get 6 here. Wave is pushing into me. That's why we TP'd. He has no potion. I do have 2 potions. So, looking for equal health traits is very beneficial for me. Simply because if I lose half my HP and so does he, I sustain through potions. Now, of course, he has sustained through like his passive, but... Point still stands. Still want the wave to push into me, so I'm going to try and avoid queuing these means too much. Because if I queue the means and him, the wave pushes back into him, right? I want the wave to push into me. Marcus, thank you for tier one. Thank you so much. All right, chat, 605, 610, there's a plant that spawns in the river. We refer to it as the fundamental snack. That plant spawns at 605, 610 ish. So I'm gonna make sure that Garen can never get there, and I'm always gonna be there first. If he doesn't go, I don't need to go. If I get the wave to crash, I could maybe go for it. But at the meantime, the wave is still pushing towards me. He should get six at any time right now. And he's still forced to walk up every time for last hits. So if he goes for last hit, I'm gonna try and punish it. He should get six here. I don't think Fiddlestick is six yet. There you go, he's level six. Wave still pushing into me. I'm gonna wait for my level 7 here. And then we can maybe all in him. Maybe I should wait for my Ignite to all in though to guarantee it. There we go. Very good poke. I hit the means a lot as well though. I'm gonna hit this one to get my equal down. He could be looking for the plant right now. No, he's not. Okay, now I'm gonna try and actually start harassing him super hard. And maybe crash the wave into his turret. And if he's low HP, he has to make this choice. Does he defend his turret? Or does he recall? But I'm ulting here not to kill him, but to force him to base. He's 1 HP now. So now, Garen is in an impossible scenario. 
Does he stay here and lose two waves and two plates? Or does he recall? Well, he should recall. If he stays, I just kill him. Right? So now he's forced to recall. So I all in there not to kill him, but actually to force him away from his turret. And now he loses a full wave, a full cannon wave. He's gonna lose the full next wave as well. And I get two plates. So even though I don't kill the Garen, he loses arguably even more than if he had died. Fiddlestick's gonna come back into topside now. So I gotta respect that. Yes. Except I'm walking away, but I'm a good actor. I'm not a good actor. GG. Let's get this. Ooh, there's the bro. Let's get this little plate. Holy shit! I could auto attack him, but I think it's bad to auto attack him. Graves, get that guy. Okay, well, I pushed the wave. Push it now. You do that. Still very good. We're triple CS. We're two plates up. I love my game. <clears throat> Alright, chat. Very good landing phase. Our bot is getting stomped. That's tricky. But we're so far up on top lane. Why not Nashus first? Because I feel like I need the HP against this ult and ignite combination. Nashus first does spike me faster, I agree. But I think HP is very important against the likes of Garen. What am are you in now? We're around, plat I think, like Diamond 4, Emerald 1 ish. How do you play as Garen in this matchup? Um, I've played this Garen matchup. I think in the Garen guide, I, I have one game where I play against Gwen. It's in the Garen guide. You can watch it right there. I play Garen into Gwen. Okay, everybody but Oriana is high key losing. They have a lot of CC to lock me down this game, so it's not going to be an easy game to play. It's not like I'm good into their team comp, you know? I would say the opposite is true. They're good against me. This guy doesn't have flash. So I can start harassing him really hard and try to get the turret. I'm trying to get better with my spacing on 2 and the champion. He wants to go for his minion. Punish. He has no W. Fiddle 6 is mid, so I don't have to be scared of Fiddle. Ooh, they're gonna Sabina That's massive. And Fiddle 6 is dead. So here I'm gonna try and pressure him on the turret chat. What you can do with Gwen is stack up your Q and then Q him and then E away. So I'll show you what I mean. Like, okay, I still took the turret shot. I misplayed it. The focus, we're getting relatively close to mythic 1500. Yeah, I should reset here. I'm a bit, bit low on resources. I'm scared of Phil 6 ulting top here, me dying, so I don't want to risk ever dying. I gotta really make sure I don't have any deaths this game. What if I just go for this item instead, huh? No, it's not. I know this item kind of delays my spike, but yeah, I think it's just better. I got this for Fiddle 6 ult for now. Um, he has no flash. I know that, but he has phasers and Q to deny my slows. He can pop face for sure. Nice! Okay, I know you can proc phasers there, so I was actually killing though. Thank you so much, fans, for 8 months! Hello, Thank boss. You, Good to see you. See you, boss. Amazing to see you. Let's make sure I blow dash this game and keep expanding my lead. I'm gonna mostly avoid the Samira and the Fiddlesticks until I'm strong enough. My bot lane died again. And so my entire team is very weak there. So I'm mostly looking to avoid their bot side until I'm strong enough, right? Through resources from side lane. I'm gonna avoid their bot lane at all costs. I don't wanna fight them right now. It's them against me. If they kill me, they win the game. If I kill them, I win the game. That's how it's gonna go. So I gotta be conscious of that already. And avoid them. As much as I can. 10 says per minute, we're playing a very good game here. Just gotta make sure that we keep playing well. 
Um, so right now I could go mid, I could go bot, but if you know if they're there, 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 if they're there, I can't go there. Does that make sense? I hope it does. So here it also kind of just depends on where the Samira and Nods are gonna go. I would argue that they're probably playing for Dragon. I don't go Nashes first because then Garen could one-shot me. The Samir is almost two items. So I'm mostly gonna deliver for tier two. That's the flash. He needs to auto attack me for face rush. Du bist so schlecht, Bro! Du bist schlecht! Sorry. I need to somehow get these 2k tokens, but it's gonna be tricky to get. I don't have a lot of stuff to play for here. Maybe I should have gone for Nashus. It's more greedy. I can get more turrets like that. I would love to get this Herald, but I don't think we ever will. Yeah, maybe I should have gone Nashus first. If you play it on top, I will, but I'm not sure yet when. I when she my dress Can I type this? Kill bot? I want to get chat ban. to do is not die and then we can win this game. Oh well. At least the Sandra went mid. So I can get some gold. You see how I'm permanently avoiding their bot lane chat? That's all I gotta do this game. I can't fight their bot lane until I'm strong enough. This guy has no flash. One bit's okay. We're getting strong. Natural resource gathering. Oh. This guy's no flash. No stride breaker, so he can't proc phasers that easy. Yeah, it's fine that he gets it. Although I would rather have it, but it's okay. We're getting strong. They're gonna have Dragon in one minute, so I'm probably gonna TP top soon. 
They're all on the top, that's weird. Maybe I can reset and defend her here. Oh, what? They grift so hard. I'm gonna go top here. You know why? Because Garen is gonna go bot. Garen is gonna go bot here. And with me going top, I get the top tier too. This guy is flesh. I'm not gonna chase. I'm not gonna chase on Lotus. I don't care about the 300 gold from Lotus. Garen should go bot. And it gives me the opportunity to get the tier 2 top. And maybe we can just. They just griefed. They had held everything. No one said life was easy. That Why are you top? To be sure. Show me us! Loco homeless. Can I just get the third out of his nose? Am I that strong? Yeah, I am that strong. Space on ship user. Okay, we got the three to third. They play for Dragunas. I can maybe get the mid to the one us. Karen is good at matching me. He understands his purpose and oh, we stole the dragon. Nice. They're not a soul point. She could be okay. Let's go, bot. That's your resources, chat. See chat how I only have 3 kills, you know that I have more gold than the 12 kills of Mira probably, or equal gold, although I only have 3 kills. Because I'm a natural resource enjoyer. I'm a natural resource enjoyer. That's why I'm so strong, even though I only have 3 kills chat. Learn from this. I'm only playing macro. Only playing macro. I don't need kills. Cancel me, you die. I'm getting better mechanic than my champion, too. Don't need to the turrets because they only give 100 gold. Another massive objective. I have to be. My teammates are still permanently dead. They are still griefing. I want my LP in the pocket. 15 kills some here by the way. Yeah. That might get a little bit tricky now. She has 15 out of 19 kills. It's actually only this guy that's strong. Mm. I'm starting to get mechanically good on my champion jet. Now it's getting scary. Sixteen quickly. Not sure about this goal now. Oh, with wall hop. I still suck at those. Uh, this champion is the best. I love this champion. I love this champion. I love Gwen. If you love Gwen, type 1. There's a lot of ones. Sus. Sussy chat. Sussy chat, I'll be honest. Uh, watch this, watch this. Oh, 
Don't watch, don't watch, don't watch, don't watch, don't watch. Don't watch. No dust for games. That's nicht gut. My bad. I get silenced into silence, into feared, into 1.5k true damage. Nice. Yeah, stopwatch when I'm CC'd for, for, for an eternity. My bad, bro, my bad. I'm playing out of single, my team there's just bad. I turned my head around, I didn't see. Didn't see what? Didn't see what? Exactly. Vako, thank you for the Prime! We're at 69 subs again, my mains. Thank you for the support, I appreciate it. Stop watch up, Klugi. Pardon they go! I am silenced into fear, into like silenced again, into like. I won't say it. Soon! They were tier one, they were two months, Mr. Hooken. Aren't you the Riven OTP? Aku, the Vidic, thank you. Yes, Luden, I am that Riven OTP, I suppose. Thank you for all the subs, sir. Thank you for the tier one. That guy's good. F U U U U U U U. Alois is a very successful player. Alois is a very successful player. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, sorry. The Grog is W. My bad. Force map. Alright, the chat. Oh. That's an amazing fit of ult. Imagine if Samira or Nautilus was there. Can I land what ability? No, he just face rushes away. Look at my life still. Dish, 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 dish. Okay, stop making sound. Dish. Oh, who else is here? Why is he walking aggressive? I need an auto attack after my E. It's so fun to play, man. All right, my teammates are kind of strong now again as well. Like, Samir is only level 12. I'm level 5. 17. I'm 5 levels above. So even though she's 15 kills, I'm a little bit stronger. Ooh. Right, ignite this bitch instantly. Please tell me she dies. Not this dies. In a different world. I need 100 gold. I'm gonna ping it so he gives it to me. Lovely. I'm starting to get better at like my auto clicks on this champion. Sp it's all about spacing on this champion, honestly. Uh, why Gwen? Because the council has decided. If you have a problem, speak with the public. It wasn't my decision. My hands were forced. I'm just enforcing what the public wants. Democracy. Democracy. Shaco took to masters when? Whenever I get bored enough, I guess. Whenever I get bored of winning games, I can play Shaco Top. True. Why do I have a Zonias? I just want. To, I just want. I just want this. That's why we got Zonias. Talented to mess this win. Sonoka has never given up. Are you implying that Pinkward is bored of winning? What Elo is Pinkward? I'm gonna go with the midway first here for the bros. I went in. I stop it. That old diagonal was crazy, by the way. I healed so much because of that as well, and I completely won't be at that fight. I completely won't be at this game, and I'm the gout. Natural resource abuser. That was an amazing game. Type one in chat if you learn something new. Type 1 in chat if you learn something new this game. If you don't type 1, you're a liar! You're a liar. So into Darius, you can go Ignite or you can go TP. Oh, sorry, or Ghost. You could even arguably go Ignite and Ghost, but I go Ghost TP and it works pretty well. Ghost TP in this matchup.
and we're taking armor flat because we're playing as Darius. You can go second wind or bone plating. I think second wind is fine, especially against his bleed. I'll take Tenasty here for Rakan, Charm, um, Shaco, Fear, Lux Q, right? Pretty standard. Rest, uh, rest is solid. It's very scary for me to look for an early game ward here against a champion like Darius, so I just put a ward down like this. If he's coming from here, I just select E and I hop over the Baron Pit. Do you win this level 1? Absolutely not. His D-Blade start, his Flash Ghost, Conqueror Resolve. I should never win level 1. It took my ward. So Darius is going to get level 2 from the first 6 minions. I got to keep that in mind. Oh, mamma mia. Could have gotten his bone plating for free if I was uh, active. I don't have a ward now too, which is pretty bad. So he can kind of cheese me from here. This is pretty bad position for me. Okay, I'm completely screwed. I don't have a ward. I don't have my E. I lost the XP. There's nothing I can do about this. He's playing it well. I misplayed it. I didn't have a ward. And I didn't retaliate the first time he showed himself. It's okay though. We still have get pushed in. Gotta make sure this way pushed into me. Because I've also lost XP. So I can only last it at latest frames. And then we'll stabilize. I gotta respect his level 2 here from this melee. And one more uh, uh, alt attack here. He gets level 2. I want to try and stay in the XP range. That's my biggest goal. Not lose any XP. If he goes for this last hit, I can go for this last hit. He's not going to go for it, and then I'm not going to go for it. And we're just sending an XP range. That's my goal here. So we'll give me level 2. Oh. Trade back a little bit. I'll use my potion. He gets level 3 by 2 means here. One more mean for level 3. So I'm checking his level ups. I'm checking my own. These means are both going to die to one third shot, however. I got his bone plating and his E out. That's massive. Oh, I got that? Good spacing here. I lost one melee, so I won't get level 4 here. But I think I'm going to hold these means here. So I can... Preserve my position in the, like somewhat of the happy spot. Oh, I may have grieved here. But my Nocturne showed. So I'm going to use the pressure of Nocturne being topside to push in this wave, nothing else. I want to get this wave in and get my reset in. And I use that because my Nocturne is topside and Shaco's both side. That's the only reason I can do this. Right, he has to respect the potential Nocturne gank here. <clears throat> I'm not sure about this play. I can't read that much. God, just come! Can you come? I'm just pushing the wave, man. You can keep standing there idle, but like, either push or piss off. You have flash. Auto attack back for me. You fucking griefer, man. All good. Yeah, Motion doesn't know he baited me or what? <clears throat> I'm gonna hold this wave. Dari should not have enough time to push this in. And he misses W, so he doesn't have mana now. Yo, Yongo, I appreciate boss. I'm gonna buy CDR boots, tier 2 boots, because Dari should buy tier 2 boots as well. We get refillable as well. And should be able to freeze his wave here. Yeah. So now, even though Dari's got the kill here, it's actually okay due to the wave position. So, because of how I left the wave behind, we're actually completely fine here. 
Okay, if I could have cancelled this base, I would have ensured him to lose even a little bit more. But he's losing most of this cannon wave. And he's going to lose this full next wave. So, I'm ahead in CS, I'm ahead in XP. Even though I got the goal from the kill, it, it balances out here. We're in an okay spot. Shouldn't curse again though. I'm sorry for cursing so much. My bad. Oops. Turn out the wave a little bit. Okay, first things first, when Darius comes back, so let's check his items. Okay, he I got whip and boots. I'm assuming Shake goes both sides. And Darius has no idea where Nocturne is at, so he's scared of the Nocturne. I'm bluffing here as well. I'm acting if like the Nocturne is ganking here, right? I'm just gonna hold the wave here and drag the aggro over now to this wave. And we continuously hold the wave here. I like playing here because ultimately I'm not gankable here. Darius is gankable and uh, he can't run me down the entire lane. I lost the cannon and the kill, but it's okay. That's a beautiful gank. Very little for Darius to do, to be fair. I'm gonna snatch this blade. Because why not? And let's insta recall. We can recall here. <clears throat> no, I go Riftmaker Gwen 100% of the games. I think it's better. Uh, I could go Dark Sea. Let's try it. Last time I regretted not taking it, so let's see if I'll be able to use it this game. I'm gonna go Nashus to Thrush in this matchup, by the way. Because if he gets passive, I die anyways. There's no point to building Riftmaker. Hey, Tavion, I didn't even stream in 2013, but I appreciate it, boss. I know what you mean. I know what you mean. Let's just let him push in here. I don't want to lose HP because he's going to push this in and also the wave will bounce back into me. He is all title not. So I'm just going to let him crash here. And I'm happy with that outcome. Nice. Let's position myself here so I can hit all the minions. And I list that one. Oopsie daisy. Nice. You guys know who a good coach is? Thank you so week. much, Bryson, for the time. Appreciate it, brother. I can look for a small trade here, simply because I'm level 8 to level 7. Although I'm not sure where Shaco's at, and my notion is both sides. So, in theory, I'm weak sided if Shaco's top side, and uh, I have no idea where Shaco's at. So, right now, I should play as if Shaco's top side. I don't see Shaco reacting to this both side play. Oh, yes. Okay, okay, okay. Shaco's both side. We can play. I wanted to bait me, by the way. Dragon's Ghost. Good. Dragon's Ghost. And there should be a plant in the river here waiting for me. AKA Le Snacko. El Snacko. Oh, baby. I got Ghost out of him. So I have the Ghost advantage here. It's good. Alright, push this wave. Are you kidding me? Level 9? No, I also... Ah. I just played bad. He was high key 1 HP, but... Yeah. Miscalculated my damage. I shouldn't even have played like that because the thing is the way it was pushing into me. Now I die, plus I lose two waves, plus I lose two plates, so not one plate. But yeah, this death, so it's 300 gold to die. 
and two waves and a plate so i lose like 800 gold on this app it's really bad yeah thank you lady all right when cdr boots and not tabbies because mama didn't raise a bitch cdr boots are really good on gwen but i should just wait for my ult and ghost and then i can never lose and i tp i just griefed it's okay i'm gonna appreciate this wave maybe i can retaliate with one plate i mean now i'm behind again but it's okay i can get one play back He's stronger than me now, though. He's not old right now. This is Mercs, not gonna stop side. I saw myself get pushed in here. You should be close to level 10. I guess I'll refill and get this. Especially with this. Okay, what if I just TP both here with Twitch? How much for Nocturne Ult? 18. Wait, Darius got it? Oh, days. Oh, I'm dead. I messed my up. Oh, I think he could have killed me if he saw that I messed up my E. I don't think he saw it though. Ah, the star is playing it well. Tricky matchup. <laughs> hmm. Lux really walked up. I find that impressive. I didn't press C. I'm dead again. No, I misplayed. Oh, chat. I'm not playing clean anymore. I literally had enough time to just press either. And I pressed W instead. No bueno. I misclicked. I just panicked. Hmm. He's not gonna get plates, but he's gonna get the full turret here. And I'm also just short for my mythic. Just short. Because if I sell this. I mean, it's probably worth waiting for it. It is, because I'm losing this full wave anyways. Can I get, like, 5 gold from a ward anywhere? I should wait. Hmm. I kind of grief my lead this game, man. I was in a very beautiful position, but he just only killed me twice. Yeah, I'll play me twice. Um, if I match level 11, I can still win the 1v1 because I have a lot of burst with this item. However, he's gonna have full stripe breaker too, and it's very greedy. Yeah, he's full stride. He still has ult, right? Yeah, he did use ghost. Okay. That means his flash and ult. And the fact that he still has ult pretty much makes it so I can't move one of my belief. Unless my watcher wants to look. Want me in here level 11. Well, where is the ult then? I mean, if he just ulted, he was dead. But maybe it wasn't in the range. I can't find the reason why Nocturne didn't ult, personally. But I can't complain, I put myself behind this game. He actually recalled, very disciplined. I 
I mean, I need to get... Oh, that was first third. Okay, that's massive. I mean, I am getting some gold then. And I can actually make this bounce back into me this way. Okay, nice. I can maybe TP bot here. And then play for this. Also, I go bot. So I'm just TPing behind. Maybe I should have TP'd later, so I don't scare away that early. I don't know if I should move to this. I feel like if I move, I'm already too late, you know? So instead, I can play for this, which is guaranteed. I don't think I should move. See, I don't like moving in these scenarios, because the odds of me moving and getting something from it is very low. However, if I stay pushing here, I'm guaranteed to go and to get this turret, maybe even a tier 2 turret, right? That's why I don't move here in these scenarios. First of all, they were walking literally away from me, so I'm walking to them and they're walking away from me, so it's very hard to get close. And this is a guaranteed 300 gold here that I'm going to get. I hope Lux, I mean Lux is going to come bot here. Guaranteed. But if I can get this as well, then we're, then we're Barak. We're completely Barak, chat. We are completely Barak. Let's go. We got so much gold. We got top tier 1, we got bot tier 1, we got bot tier 2. A lot of natural races for your homie. Lots of natural resources for the good guys. Good harvesting session. We almost have Mythic now. What do you want to do? I'll take that. I have my Mythic now. Hey, chat, we're actually strong now. Even though I have one kill, I'm one of the strongest members in this game now. I have my full Mythic. I'm very happy. Alright, there's gonna be a Herald. There's still top tier 2. But Darius. See, Darius doesn't even have two kills. Also, sorry, two items. He has three kills. He's at an XP. That's one thing that sucks. Um, he's gonna play for this bot tier 1. So I'm gonna have to defend. Instead of doing something myself, I'm gonna be more so on the defensive side now as well. But I could win the 1v1 now because I have two items. I got so much gold here. Wobble. I can get this blob of 2. I mean, I, he might take this before I'm there. Yeah, that sucks. I have all in 15. Nocturne is looking with ult. Eh, can we kill? It would be massive if I get the shutdown. What do you want me to do? You. D Why is this guy pinging me every time he does something wrong? I don't understand this. Like, why do, why do you ping me? What what have I done wrong there? I'm literally running, I'm pinging that I'm on my way. If you can't check your minimap, that's not a me problem, bro. That's a you problem. Piss off. These kind of players are so frustrating to play with. Nocturne literally ended... No, whatever. It's okay. Get the turret. Dar is gonna have hole breaker now, though. Oh, he went Cyrox. Ah, my E ran out. I have TP in 20 top for this. So Dari should go bot here, and then maybe I can TP top here. Yeah, I'm gonna TP top here. May- Ah. Well, that sucks. How long does this thing stay? Holy shit. Massive though. Shaco's alive. He has Gil Force. That guy's probably on my ass somewhere. Okay, he's there. He's dead. That's a massive shutdown for my team. I, I can still be a threat here in side lane. If they don't come for me. I can get a tier 2 turret, right? I see all of them here. So, I'm gonna look for this. No? Yeah, I do. Why not? If I die and I get this, it's worth it. I am getting back in game just through natural resource chat. There's a Luxold coming soon. 
Dude, I got all tier two turrets. I'm actually strong. <clears throat> Whoa. I could go Shadow Flame again. So many shields. Cosmic Drive not bad either. Let's go Cosmic Drive. I'm strong. Ah, yeah, you're right. I first got the Benchies and then this. Yes. I first got Benchies, I see. Watch out, even though I only have two kills, I'm just, again, one of the most fed members in this game. Even with only two kills. What is... These are relatively small pink spikes, but they are making me feel extremely laggy. I'm dead. I don't like this fight, no? Oh, I love it. Oh, give me that shutdown. Oh, baby. Can my tomb do it without me? No. There's a Shaco. This is the real one. GG chat. Hey. Any natural resources and joys in my chat? Any natural resources and joys in my chat? Remember how I was 0 and 3 or something like that? Or like 0 and 2? And I just I just got the top tier one. I TP bot. Got bot tier one, bot tier two. TP top again. Got top tier two. And then that randomly, I'm the most fed members in this game. Okay, my team has this. You know what I do when they have already guaranteed security objective? Get something else extra. Right? Whilst enemy teams are still dead, I can still get this mid tier one as well. Because we're getting the extra anyways. Hey, if you want to be a natural enjoy natural resource enjoyer as well, estimation mark course. Quick shout out. Thank you for the primers, chat. Bro, what is these lag spikes? Weird as lag spikes, man. Is it looking laggy for you guys as well? Lovely. Look at this. Two items. Almost four! Yes, We're no, same score! Aloise. Thank you for another primer. That guy is good. Yes, Gwen is okay for Loilo. I'm gonna keep pushing mid here. I don't know what's wrong with my internet. I don't wanna move here. I'm just gonna end the game, legit. I'm gonna end the game if they fight here. Look how fast I take shit. Enemy team is panicking now. They're like, <gasps> chat! Oh! Gwen is at our doors! No! Gwen is at our doors! Yes, bitch. Cancel the recalls and on the game. Honorably. How frustrated must this Darius be? Oh, wait, Shaco lift. Ah, shit. I mean, thing. I got 1k shot down, but hey, Rakan got it. Let's go. Hey. Uh, let's go. Now I'm four items, and this guy's still two items. Remember when this guy pretty much had a full item above me? I don't remember it either. I don't remember it either. Man. Okay, now I'm not having spikes anymore, did you? Let's wait our item in base. Which champion took the longest till now to reach Master and Challenge? Uh, Jax was the hardest one. Which I didn't expect. Any plans on decorating that wall? Yes, it's probably gonna get removed and then I completely revamp my room or I move to my own place and then I get a full new room as well. Let's see, I need 1700. I wanted to pee on this wave, but I'll use this wave instead. I'm gonna siege bot. I will TP, because I know bitch. Could TP here as well though. No. Alright, let's not TP then, because my homies died. Alright, we got four items shed. Last item is going to be a Rabbidons or Shadow Flame. Because they have a lot of shoots, 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 shoots with this. Let's see. 
yes we're gonna do gangplank on rank to masters chat the goal is to eventually do every champion on rank to masters also i'll probably do a poll tonight since we're almost done with gwen so as a result of that if you want to join uh okay even i appreciate that if you want to vote for the next champion type estimation mark discord join the discord there's a chat channel it's called champion voting that i will start the next poll there whoever gets the most vote will be the champion we do i get my vote i do votes every time there so where you can join the discord and we'll do the votes there democracy will prevail i have a little bit of input like at the moment in the game i don't know exactly why maybe we should alter four quickly because you might not see it but it's very it's a bit weird This guy has three items, three items, three items almost. <laughs> Alt entered twice. I'm not gonna risk it because I have no idea what it is. I'm sorry. Maybe you are actually cooking, but I don't want to risk it because I don't know what it does. Why am I moonwalking? Still two items, but the kind of locks are hovering, and maybe Shaker too. Why am I moonwalking again? Fifty seconds for Nash. If my team, okay, nice. This is really good. If they fight here, because they can create pressure for me, and they forget about me. Watch this champion. He thinks she. He think. Does he think he win now or? Watch this. Wait, I'm just dead, aren't I? Oh, maybe not. Goodbye. Goodbye. Oh shit. I ain't scared. Let's reset TP. I'm gonna bait this bitch to come for me. Come. Um, where's our Rakan? Where did Rakan come from? That's really bad. That's because I got Magi's, that's why I died, man. Alright, I can try the alt enter thing, I guess. Alt enter. Maybe it fixed it, let's see. Oh, the hell was that? Okay, let's see. Ah, uh, I grieved again by dying here. Definitely not nail binding because I'm nervous now, GG. Ah, uh, that was really bad by me. Like, I don't know, Raka I didn't know Rakan was alive. I thought it was just Lux Kaisa, but even then, my play is just so grief. It's like I got Magis and I instantly had just the urge to completely grief the game. Imagine ITP at the end of the game. Yeah. I've actually made the game hard now. Okay, I mean, Kaisa's griefing. That was a good flush by her. No. Okay. Alright, chat, this game is not over yet. This place are disciplined. I've griefed this game. I'm very well aware. I'll say sorry, team. At least have two dragons now. Shaker might come here. Nice. Super's broken. Look how fast I am too.
We have double stopwatch here. I have ult and ghost soon. I don't think anybody can kill me. Only Rakan. Oh shit, she deals damage. That's only one. Yeah, she has Rabadons now. Sure, I have old. I wanna hope everybody fights, and in the meantime, I just do this. Like everybody's fighting. Oh shit! They swatted me. They definitely swatted me. They are angry now. Okay. I got one of them though. Yeah, I got one. These bear means are so annoying. 20 more seconds for them to have Nash. And don't you most of the shit? Okay, this guy's has a scare. Scary. I mean, my entire team is kind of backing off. So now doesn't have TP. 25 for her TP. I could get Rabadons instead of Magi's, I guess. Wait, this Lux has no mana. Oh, this guy's old. Nah, you are a lucky little piggy, aren't you? I kinda wanna keep limit testing, man. Like, we don't need Twitch. We have no super means. They count as a champion. I just need the homies. I need one auto attack on this thing and it's gone. Goodbye, Shrek. Alright. YOLO. No, oh, I mispositioned my shit. I could have played it at this better, man. Well, they have open access now, right? Solid. Please don't do Nash now, right? Oh, I keep griefing. If I land at my second ult, I think I kill all of them, but they get close too early. Also, I tanked 6k damage, even though I have below 3k HP. That's kind of crazy. That's how much I'm healing with this stupid item. Let's refresh this. I mean, I'm gonna have goals. We're gonna have three. Look, look how much resistances I'm gonna get now with this and my W. Like... Is this a percentage, right? Or is it flat? No, it's percentage. Look, look my W, look how much resistance. <laughs> yeah, that's solid. So the only threats... Yo, VR, thank you for the two. D, 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 D. GG. The only threats to me are the Shaco and like Rakan. Or I guess Kai's are being melee rich with me. Unless Darius gets on top of me, but that shouldn't really happen. We're gonna go Nash. I mean, it should help us uh, finish this game, in theory. Don't recall. I mean, now he's at the game, right? <laughs> uh, <laughs> that Shaco gameplay! Just sweeper, I guess. I'll play it. Goodbye.
Where's the rest of the homies at? To like half HP, that was one old. Like I'm Gwen. GG. Yo. Yo. Shut up, piggies. Piss off, man. I'll go suck a boot. Flash ignite grasp. Ooh, that's very aggressive. Blue card, by the way. Bang ring. All right, I'm going to look for priority. This guy's a super aggressive setup with grasp, flash ignite. It's arguably the yeah, it's, it's the super super aggressive setup, honestly. Garbage sword on both sides. He queued through the minions. Look at that. That's two auto attacks, by the way. But it's because he queued through the minions. Nice. The slope is here. The worst is an awkward crash, which I still like a lot. I just go into like awkward crash. Uh oh. Oh, I'm just out of third range. I'm really lucky, I think. Not gonna lie, I'm surprised the first shot actually got wasn't third range, I'll be honest. But I'm almost in his kill range now. So I'm gonna potion again. Why did the song randomly go like mute? Is that intentional? But this trade is bad by him because I'm going to recall on TP and he's stuck playing Flash Ignite. So right now. This wave is automatically going to bounce back into me because these means are, are standing still, right? However, my means are speed running through the lane. So right now, this wave by default will bounce into me. And by basing TPing back, I won't lose any XP. Shen is playing half HP, forced to walk up for last hits. As long as I make this wave bounce into me, Shen hates his life. We don't have to. Oh, Jarvan has no flush, by the way. Plus 69. <clears throat> this is not very good, is it? It's extremely good. I can get that guy though. Look at the wave chat. Uh, I'm so cringe. What man's though? Hey, look at the wave. Third wave crash is reset. He's playing with Ignite. I got that the P. He hates his life. And I don't. Let's go. J J. He loses full cannon wave. That's around 200 gold. Plus the EXP. J J. Time for another piece of chocolate. I deserve it. Yeah. Why are you still pushing it to me? So he's gonna lose even more. All right. Chat. Again, I won my lane in the first four waves. Any first four waves in joyous in chat? Any first for ways in Joyce in chat? I'm a first for wave enjoyers. I'm a happy spot enjoyer. I'm a reset timer enjoyer. I'm a jungle tracking enjoyer. Don't ask me anything about actual real life skills though. I don't know anything about that. Every good place of chocolate? Hey, double chocolate here for me. Yo, Night Shadow, I will put Jace probably on next list. Maybe Nar as well. Jace and Timo, most likely. Actually, maybe I should have altered this. Maybe I should have actually altered this way to make a crash. My bad. Yo, I don't question how to say that's not good in Germany. I don't know how to say that.
I have so much hits now. <laughs> you wanna eat into me, brother? By the time he's dodged one Q, it's basically back up already. Yeah, like he can play the game. All right, one more piece of chocolate. I got the wave to crash. That counts, chat. That counts. I'm using a fundamental snack and in-game snack. Mmm. 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 Okay, focus. Yes, I think Gwen works in low elo. It's dark chocolate, 75%. Healthy chocolate, no sugar in there. GG. Level up time, enjoyer. All in enjoyer. Ability is enjoyer. Ghost enjoyer. Can I, just, I don't know. League of Legends enjoyer. Thank you, Riot Games, for creating this game. I'm forever grateful. Without you, I would have nothing in life. I would probably be fishing right now. In-game IRL. Okay, let's keep it focused, though. Jarvan is both sides, so I don't have to be scared of like Jarvan ganking me with the shin holds. We're completely chilling. Oh, Shane got a double kill. Hello. Alright then. Okay, Shen is running on a killing spree. Does he have a shutdown now? Oh, who cares? Game's over. Nobody's gonna stop me. I'm too fed. In game RL. Alright, let's keep up this game. Pace is recall. Last piece of chocolate. Cheers. Yo, my mouse spread is completely destroyed. Not gonna lie. No bueno. We're not gonna buy potions because I'm too close to my item already. And I'm gonna have to pee. Does he have a TP? Ah, no, he doesn't have a shutdown. Clean up everything. Okay, let's give up the focus now. Bro, just absorb 1k calories? Bro, it's 250 calories. I'm telling you, it's actually healthy. It's 250 calories only. If you guys don't trust me, by the way, I'll show you guys the label. I don't mind that. Ooh. Search it up. Okono dark chocolate. Okono dark chocolate. Made from Belgium with love for Aloy Sonel. Okono dark chocolate. Okono dark chocolate. Search it. That is not good. Alright, let's recall though. Alright, this game's not one yet. Bro eating 4k calories a day. Yeah, bro. Yeah, bro. Together with your mom in front of the TV. With a little wine. I needed the item. Alright, my entire team is losing the game now. It's okay. This guy's no flesh. Let's get this full turret. What are calories? I am American. <laughs> CBA. The first time I read when I glance over at chat. I know what he means though. Woo! 
Snip, snip. That guy is good. Thank you so much for the six. Be a koya, my man. Thank you for the six. I hope you're doing amazing, boss. Thank you for six months of your support. See, I might die to Jarvan. I might. But I'm not scared to die. As long as I don't die to Cassiopeia, we're good. Alright. Alright. There's no Herald to play for. There, I mean, I could more wrong to bot, but I also think that's not the smartest. I'm just gonna play for the tier 2 turret instead. There's no flesh for chilling. Do you reckon rushing seed garbage? Yes. I'm doing amazing, Biakoya. Much better now that, you, now that you're here. <laughs> Alright, I need to expand my lead, chat. How do I expand my lead? First step, not dying. I don't want to die. If I die, they get 800 shutdown. That's not good. Charmin is mercs. I hike it, just suck the water, I'll be honest. Ooh, das ist nach nicht gut, nicht gut, nicht gut. Gar nicht gut, gar nicht gut. I think the first step was not dying, right? I messed up. I messed up, chat. So how do I win the game now? Let's check Cassio. Let's not check our items, actually. We're not allowed to check Cassio items. We're not allowed to check Cassio items. It's not nice to see. Alright, back to side lane where I belong. And uh, I'm gonna harvest uh, natural resources in the side lane. I'm gonna harvest natural resources in the side lane to get stronger this game chat. That's what we're gonna do. We need to do some uh, grinding. Okay, I like the piano. Oh wait, she died? Holy moly, that guy loves the sauna. What a simp. This guy just eat over the wall. No other way. Okay. Carol's up in 20. I'm gonna take Shelly back. Let me have her. I'll make it personal by calling her. her. Alright, let's get this tier to turret now. 
Let's get this tier two turret now. Oh, I can't believe what Shelly's done. I can't believe you've done that. GG. I'm gonna slow push this wave, hard push next wave, and hope Cassiopeia doesn't show up. Cassiopeia's bot. Lovely. Alright, now I can push. Alright. Slow push into hard push type of strategy. Spawn this bad boy up. Shelly, I summon you for taking my TP, you disgusting pig. She's gonna flip side. I'm gonna make sure and eat into me. <laughs> Stop! Okay. Let's go both together, you two. Build the tempo now. Now we're finally strong. Now that we're finally strong. Now that we are free. Holy shit. This guy's still extremely fed in game IRL. Just like me. Yo, Kindred. This side is bleeding. We gotta move there fast. Let's not actually get chatted from this. Ah, uh, no, no, no. I must have forgot. You're not allowed to type that word. Even though announcer says double kill, triple kill, carter kill, penta kill. If you type kill, it's a filter word. Careful now. Careful now. I'm not really that scared of the shin. Why are you walking forward? Is he bluffing? What card do you have? Do you have pocket aces? Oh. <laughs> okay. Well, thank you for the tier 2 turret. Appreciate it. Champ players. Omega Loon. You think I'll match him? Nah. I'm gonna keep going here. That's how your main guy got permabent. Yeah, c careful, Rice. I can permabend you in the switch chat. Uh oh. Chat, this is not good. Oh, I outplayed this bitch so hard, though. Good. Sehr good. She had three items. I'm gonna go to this item next. Thoughts on River Maker Shadow Flame versus Jack Shen Timo? Why would you go Shadow Flame? What's even what does this item even do? Cinder Bloom, damage to champion better friends from Magic Pen based on the target's current health. Can the maxo use the target was recently affected by shoots? Yeah, so it's against shoots. Shoots, 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 shoots. Yo, let's go this item this game, chat. It looks pretty good actually. Let's get some magic pen, yeah? Alrighty. Hey, we can do this by the way. We can do this. Come. I need one Bruna to help me out. The Twisted Fate is going for the top wave. I respect it. I would also hate getting Nash for free here, you know? When you can just get the top wave. Hey, this guy's cooking. Kind of 1 HP now. Alright. Don't worry. I'll always get them calls. Goodbye. 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 And instead of chasing them, I'm gonna use my tempo here. Dish, 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 dish. Play going fast. Dish, 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 dish. Is he top lane as well, chat? I'm monster fast with this. I kept my demolish. Using my tempo well. The Baron. Dish. 
Got this, dish. Got this, dish. Enemy team doing dragon? Doesn't matter. We end the game. Oh, enemy team's like, ah, let me get their dragon. Hee hee hee. Hee. Let me just quickly end the game. We got some Gwen third item. Guess who's like, guys, I got a third dragon. Guys, I got a third dragon. Guys, I got it. Uh oh, my entire team is ditch. Time to run. Time to kite. It's time to kite. I gotta dodge this one. Oh, we're chilling. Okay, well, pretty good. We almost got the entire base. Let's go. Time to go. You seem so much happier not being on Jax. Yeah, not gonna lie. I keep it between us, but I'm happy the Jax cap is over. Alice, could you stream Clash sometime with other streamers? Yeah, I'd be down. I'd be down. <laughs> no, the, the resistance is from your W. Don't skill with AP, by the way. You get flat resistance on your W. Right? It doesn't skill with AP. You just get flat with W. It's just more so the fact that you're immune. No, look. You get flat. You see the bottom? It's flat. Oh, never mind. You are right. It does kill with AP. No, you're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. They do skill with AP. I actually didn't know that. How do I not know certain things? Chad is too smart. Thank you so much for your prime, Chamat. I didn't know that, actually. <laughs> you know, Chad, for the longest time, I didn't even know my W gave me resistances. So how much do I get? Oh. Oh, wait a minute. Oh. That's pretty healthy. Where's my kin result? Nicht good. I'm inting. MB. 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 Why does the guy say my eyes when you're 5 and 7? Shut up, pig. Okay. It's like I made one mistake and my entire team wants to publicly hang me. Alright, my bad. Do you know you can also recast W to recenter it? But you can recast W? Really? I didn't know that either. No, I didn't know that either. But you can recast W? What? Ain't no way. Wait, I'm gonna try that. <clears throat> I'm gonna try that. Head scratcher. Why is my W? Mechanics. Goodbye. This is why I'd rather play Gwen instead of Jack Strat. Penta. Come on, piggy. <laughs> You're really gonna stay in there, huh? GG. Well, well, well. You know, Chad, can I tell you guys a story that you gotta keep between you and me, okay? I've never told, I think I've only told one person in the world this, but now a lot of more people are gonna know, okay, Chad? I'm gonna tell you guys a story, okay? It's a really embarrassing story, but I'll tell you guys. So, in my first year, of playing professionally in the Dutch league. I was still really a river one chick, okay? Like, we made it to EO Masters and we made it to groups, but I was high key a river one trick. So I was playing Scion. I mean, I don't know if there is any, like, 
if somebody has the montage. But anyways, I missed every single cyan ult, okay? I could not land the cyan ult. That is also why we have this emote right here. We got the Alois and Cyan emote. Now, I did not know how Cyan passive worked, okay? I didn't know that if you died, you can press one of your buttons and you can become enraged. I didn't know that. I just died and I just walked around and hit everything. I didn't know you could enrage. I swear, I looked at the vault. I could have killed two people if I knew how my passive worked. I'm not kidding. Yeah. Or like one person at least. Or like more waves. I don't remember exactly, but I'm pretty sure I had like one or two windows where I could have definitely used my passive. I like I could have definitely used my passive. Alright, it's Jace instead. I expected it not. Yeah, I don't know. Uh this is a matchup where we were on second wind. Could be a D shoot start too. You run ghost for sure here. Ghost against Jace, ghost against Castro, ghost against Vayne, else I can play, right? So I gotta go ghost here. And we're only AP in this draft too. So I'm gonna be building full AP. Let's see how we do. I mean, it can't really be worse than the last two games. Like, right, chat? Kluge? It can't be worse, no? I'm gonna go for Deering anyways, because he's playing um, first strike. I don't know where we spotted Jace. I guess there we did. Right, I'm gonna have to go E start here. I also have to flash. I have no flash. Sucks, I have E start. I'm gonna recall now. I hope I don't get canceled. There's a, I guess, a card there with barrier smite. Uh, see, I get my ward down. If you recall, at around 110, 113, you'll still be in time for lane. You don't really miss anything, so it's completely fine here. I just have to go E start instead of Q start, but it's okay. Probably not just to rush, but maybe we could ref make it a set. We have to see. Tier 2 boots are really good in a matchup like this. And uh, let's see. I don't see Jason lane that. Also, don't see Karthus. Not sure passing to top. Jace could be anywhere. I'm gonna get priority. Even though this is a melee into range matchup chat, getting priority will always benefit you because you see, Jace kind of has the focus last hits, and as a result, I'm able to last it for free myself. Right, so even though it's a melee into range, try to look for priority if you can. If he's not playing too aggressive, like he ate this game, see, I get priority for free, and I'm gonna get my level 2 first, and as a result of that, I can actually maintain the priority, and I can even look for beneficial trades. So let's stack up my Q. Right, Jace had to focus on last hitting and thinning out the wave instead of being able to harass me. I'm fine with the straight. I have two potions, he has one. Plus, I maintain the priority. Two more means for level 3. I'm going to put two points in Q. And really look to solidify this priority that I have. Boom, level 3. If he walks up even a little bit too far, I will Q in. Go for his last hit. Boom, 142. And now lane is one. Now slow push this wave. 4 5 crash. I have perfect CS still. Also, kudos to priority. And now I put my second potion. He just hit level 3. It's okay. I need 3 melees and 1 caster for my level 4. And then we can look for another. Oh my days. Holy shit, he clears fast. He's already done with his whole camps, three minutes. My jungler is only 20. He was already 24 and top. What the fuck? I love my life. I absolutely love it. I don't hate it. I don't hate. I love my life. Well played, Jastro. I gave me a heart attack there, I'll be honest. I was about to scream. I was about to scream. Wow. That was a really fast card, this gank. Well, Carter should go back into both sides. Cordray's got a kill. He has no potions, only a biscuit. So these trades do benefit me, even though he has the item lead. I have one more potion. Are we just spacing better? I'm dodging most of his Qs, and he's getting hit by all of mine. Alright, now he's 1 HP. Push that too. Crash the wave into his turret. If he wants to stay, I can dive him. If he recalls, then I can get a plate. He's gonna get level 5. Thank you. He gave me a way out too. Lovely. Now we need to get 950. And then we can get CDR boots. That's the item I'll be going next in a matchup like this. 
And we can continue. Now, the reason why I won so hard against Jay's chat, you want to know why? He bought pink cards instead of double potion. If he had double potion there, I would never be able to do what I just did to him. If he had double potion instead of a pink ward, he would have never had that bad of a lady face position. However, I looked for equal health traits. I had two potions. He did not. He got this destroyed. No, Sparky. No more 100% win rate. Especially not after last game. Yo, Mia Kidisu, welcome. Chase help more than Nocturne. Raw. <laughs> oh, yeah, I know what you mean, yeah. Ah, that's all good. Again, no potions. I have refillable chats. I'm gonna look for these equal health traits. Six ish, the minute or the plant spawns in the river, so I want to look to match his priority that he has currently going on. He has no face rush, so he has no way to get movement speed. Besides his E, it's okay here to trade like this. Again, he has no potions, and I'm gonna get first access to the plant. However, maybe I should have waited for my goals so I can get a guaranteed all in, but it's okay. I still completely get lane control from this. I should slow push this wave, hard push this wave, look for plant in the river, let the wave bounce into me, Jace can play. Trading here is good. Play at the edge. Actually, I'm liking this type of music at the moment. Alright, now let's, for, let's look for the plant in the river, where he's gonna bounce back into me. And Jace can play the game, he's gonna have to reset. He's resetting. <clears throat> I could move here. No. I'm gonna go back to top. my ult again i'm gonna leave this caster alive simply because it's going to make this wave push into me right by keeping it alive if i don't need to if it's not aggro then i need to kill it and it's making the wave push into me due to how the aggro here played out he still has no potions yet he still hasn't figured out that he needs to stay in it's such a common mistake for people to not build sustain but you see how hard it is making jace lane to play by him just simply not ever having sustain carfus is bold so i'm allowed to play relatively aggressive here. Oops, I actually did not meant to press Q there. He has no flash. I'm dodging bullets when I dodge the JSQ. Oops. If I trade enough here, Nocturne can maybe ult him to finish the job. Okay, Nocturne can ult him to finish the job. And even if Nocturne doesn't finish the job here, Jace will lose two waves here. So I all in there not to kill him, but I all in him to force him out of the base. Oh, Nocturne, come on. No, Nocturne. Yeah, it's not who a good coach is. Thank you, Herpes. <laughs> Thank you, Naza. I actually does have TP. I don't know that. I expect him to have TP. Okay, then he actually doesn't lose too much. Thank you for the tier 1, brother. Thank you for the 4. He's gonna check me here. No, he's not. I think we're fine. I'm gonna build this. I'm gonna rush this item chat. He still has no sustain. Oh, Cards is there now. Yeah. I know it really sucks for him. But I can't really do much for him here. He already lost it. And the skirmish is just not going to be good for us.
I'm also got full wave doing this as well. At least I get wrap off the sustain. But come on, man. Card has got it. Oops. Misplayed it. Got the plate. Need 1215. Cartus is gonna have ult soon, so I gotta be careful for the Cartus ult. Lots of pods getting rank 1. He's the GOAT. There hasn't been a top player rank 1 for a while now, so it's extremely impressive what he's done. It's been a while since a top player in EU has hit rank 1. I wanna get his flash here. Maybe if he walks up a little bit too far. I'm wasting my W's. You be careful, I have mythic in base here. Well, not mythic, my item rather. Ooh, that hit me. He has flash. As we go. And this game is not looking the hottest again. Uh, their card is really fed. Their bot lane is pretty fed. Their mid lane is pretty fed. Yeah, it's looking like a rough game again, I'll be honest. <laughs> it's gonna look like a terrible game again. My teammates don't stabilize even a little bit. Okay, that's good. Okay, if we stabilize a little bit, I'm happy. But look at this again. This... I mean, Mayasso has three kills, but he's down in CS in level. Can work though. If I get a kill now, I can pretty much get the full turret. He has a full item. Crazy. I don't know really how to expand my lead because it should be very hard for me to try and get the turret here under his nose. Especially with Cartus just always being stronger here. I always gotta keep the Cartus in mind. So it's very hard for me to expand here. That's why we take goals into range champions chat. All right, we found our kill window. These are extremely important. And now I hope I can get the tier one turret. I hope enemy team is playing for dragon so I can get the tier one turret. And that way I can finally get some gold. Okay, Venus bolt. Cassio's here. It's only gonna be Carthus. Okay, nice. We can get this. It depends. Uh, Riftmaker before, or, sorry, uh, Nash's Stoop before Riftmaker is more snowball heavy, but it is also more risky. Why are we not contesting this? Hmm. Kinda sucks I can't finish the item, I'll wait. 9.40 I need. Oh. Nice, I come through the barrier. I don't have W. How does Jenna lose sword against Braum? <laughs> Jen hard count is, Jenna hard count is Braum. In theory. Uh, okay. 
Botlane has died. Time for me to run bot. Get this tier one turret. Are we dead? You see how fast I was at my reaction to go to bot low? This, the, like the second I saw both any carries died, I was like, okay, let's run bot. Right? I'm not gonna overstay my tempo mid. I know Cassiopeia might come here now. She's uh, pretty strong as well, so I gotta be here for, before she's back here from recall. By getting this turret and this wave, I get my second item. And I'm trying to expand my lead, but I'm not gonna get a lot of opportunities to get gold in this game, simply because enemy team is stronger everywhere. And there's Cassio. It's almost gonna have two items now, so it's just very hard for me to get pockets of tempo where I can look to expand my lead. But yeah, 1v1 against Cassio, it's gonna be very hard to wait. Uh, they're always gonna have card assault. Vayne is very annoying to play against, but now I at least have two items. I got them top tier one. I've got bot tier one. Uh, I could move to Herald right now, mid tier one. However, I think I should just go bot and deny Cassia from getting this full turret. I'm gonna have Ghost, Ult, and I have two items, so I think I can win the 1v1. I think I can win the 1v1 here. Yeah. I'm not sure. This champion does counter me very hard. I'll play it. Mechanics, that's all. Mechanics, that's all. I hope nobody comes bot and I can bot, bot tier 2. And if I get a bot tier 2, then I can carry this game easily. Because that's 600 tokens. I got the Cassio shot down. Plus 200 tokens on this would solidify this game for me. So I'm not going to move to my team here. I don't have ult, I don't have ghost. There's no point for it. Okay, got the shutdown. And the tier 2. And the Gromp. A lot of gold here for myself. And the TP. Goodbye. I know they're coming here, but there's a teleport that I can take. Leave. Goodbye. Ciao, bros. And now, I'm gonna go top. Why do I go top? Because there's a tier 2 turret here as well that I'm gonna play for. So I'm gonna go top now. I'm just gonna go this. They're not putting a lot of armor here. Yeah, I'm full. I'm the only AP in my team, right? So I can build full AP. This side wave is absolutely horrific. It's hard, slow pushing, not hard pushing away from me. So the faster I get that, the better. But at least it's already pushing towards my enemy. So if they mess up their tempo here, I can be here in time. Cassio wasted TP. Cassio's mid. Jace, I believe, Hello, is guys. on a recall. Hello, he's gonna like he's uh, in the top not that strong on the map right now. So let's see. Yo, thank you so much for your prime, Johnny. I'm playing very fast with my tempo here. Cassio could come, Jace could come, Cards could come, Jace is here. I don't know if anybody else is here, but Vayne and Brom seem to be wanting to hover. These camps are up, so... Yeah, I was about to say maybe Cards is here. He has full Zonyas, I see it on tap. He's gonna Zonyas here. The movement though. A little bit of movement by me. I hope we win the 2v1 there. Oh no. Man, what are my teams? I can't do much more. I can't do much more. Team, start before, please. Kidding. I'm not kidding, by the way. Can they start performing? Bad TP. I gotta have the turret. I gotta play gr greedy and risky here. I gotta play really greedy and risky. And I hope I can get this whilst I play for the dragon. Good. I have rubbed on some base. Uh, both silence are hard for me to play, right? I'm playing Gwen into Jace, Gwen into Cassio. But I've killed both already, and I've got them both tier two turrets. Although my entire team is behind, right? So I have to give up the third dragon here. Why are we fighting now? Okay, we're winning. Faye got the shot, or Jenna got the shutdown, okay. Hey, that's pretty good. I like that.
cards have no flash, so he can't really get into the pit. I have to tank so my Nocturne doesn't die here, hopefully. Uh, yeah, so it's better off if you just hit this, by the way. I'll be honest. And Jenna's bot. Oh my days, chat. Why is my Jenna bot and what is my Yasuo doing? Anyways, it's working. <sighs> I'm going to stop watch. Because I have one cash out down that I do not want to lose. We've been playing super clean macro this game though, chat. We got in the bot tier 2, we got in the top tier 2, we got in all that money. So even though these guys are all fed across the map, even though I have 6 kills, right, similar to this guy, or like, I don't know, these guys are very fed too. They don't have tier 2 turrets like I do. I'm 3 go uh, three items now, and they're not even close. I should move here fast, by the way. When you have Nash, you only have 6 wave worth of Nash here. And every jungle can be take pretty much root your tempo. Look how fat this wave is, right? So my team should siege this and the meter I can siege this simply because I have a fat wave here. Jace is two items, Karthus is two, Cassio's two. She has no flash. I want the bait cards to go for the side wave. If anybody flames my wall, thank you for the two months, brother. Alois and Klepto. <laughs> my man. One of my I think least used emotes actually. Underrated emote, true. This guy's no flash. Bye. Um. Alright, chat, that's how you move it on the game. My entire team, it wasn't really performing. Of course, I had some good mechanical sideways plays. But it was a good 1v9 game. And that's why macro is so important. Remember when I gave the third dragon away to split for the top tier 2 turret? But that actually spiked me towards my Rabadons. And my team finally did something good. And they got two picks in mid. And those two picks they got in mid resulted in us getting Nasher. And then we just ended the game through one push. But first of all, we went bot. The second we could get the tier 1, remember? We were from mid, we instantly went to bot to get the tier 1 turret then. Then we reset, we got our mythic, we solo killed the Cassiopeia, and got bot tier 2. Then we recalled, and we went top for the tier 2, and avoided playing 5 5 for the dragon, and then our 3 items, we got Nash and ended the game. Really clean all macro. Of course, how I played mechanically in the side wave was extremely important, but just look at this game, right? I was arguably at one point in the game very close with these guys in gold. Maybe they even had more gold than me this game, arguably, right? This Cardus could have had more gold than me during the game because he was very, like, he was very early at two items, right? But now look, at the end, I'm almost 4k gold above him. That's all tier two turrets. I'm sad. I'm sad it's already the last day, I'll be honest. The win rate is amazing on this champion. The next champion will be Fiora. Ah, Jack's matchup, huh? Don't worry. I've played this matchup enough now that I, I don't know what I'm supposed to do in this matchup. Still in a hard matchup, but I know what to do now. Don't worry about it. Oh, chat! It looks like it's the last game. There is a total of nine master players in my team or in this game. It looks like this could arguably be the last game. All right, he's playing Ignite TP Lethal Tempo. Very aggressive setup. Plus, we're playing against the Sin Zhao. So this game, I'm going to be a little bit more scared because I'm very scared of getting level 3 ganked by the champions. Yo, I'm on. I'll open it. I'll show it. I'll show it. I'll do it uh, after the game. Would you consider Talon for top? No, but Molin, I would be very happy if I did that. Or Sonokra. Actually, was it Molin or Sonokra? Maybe Sonokra, actually. That's the guy I want that always. Alois is a very successful player. Bro, I miss your ribbon streams. Sad Yo, face. Rukin, listen, all right. Thank you, first of all, for your support. Soon. I'll be back to Riven, okay? I will do either on rank to Challenger, full Riven, or I'll get Alois and L to Riven, okay? So I will be playing Riven again soon. I'm gonna ward right here, chat. The reason I wanna ward right here is so that I don't get like level 3 gank by Xinjiao. Right, this guy's playing D Blade Potion. Now, alright, they're inviting. Um. I did not hit him, else I would have Conqueror. No! I don't have Q! 
Okay. That's not looking too hot for my team. Are you spacing it well? If anybody flames my wall up, I'm perma banning you. Thanks for your videos. Thank Got you. back to league after a couple years and the climb is going smooth. Let's go, Bo. This guy's playing extremely aggressive. Is Ignite, TP, and Lethal Tempos. I gotta respect that. I have two potions against one potion of his, right? Okay, now I'm gonna let him push and take complete control. I want the XP there. I got it. I got that XP as well. I just gotta stay in XP range. That's all I need to do here. This matchup is just very, very tricky in the early game, and I'll have to respect. Uh, the Gwen arc has been absolutely amazing. However, this matchup is extremely frustrating. It's a very hard matchup, right? Especially when he plays this aggressive of a setup, right? Little Temple, Flash Ignite, or a Ignite TP rather. And um, D Blade start. We got level 2 here. Alright, we have Bone Blade again too soon. But he's gonna get level 3 from that mini right there. So I still don't want to look for any trades. Alright, I'm just playing safe. I'm not trying to lose uh, as little HP as possible so that I can play out the bounce without having to be recalling here. I'm gonna Q right there. I know he's going to recall. But we're still relatively full HP and that's going to allow me to play out this bounce relatively comfortably. Jack's gonna have two options. He could. TP or it could walk back. Got two points of Q. Also to last hit. Did we get all of them? I think we did. Oh, but okay, never mind. Oh. Okay, he didn't lose a single EXP though, so that's a bit tricky here. Because he's gonna get to level 4 relatively easy, but it's okay. My goal here would be to try and hard push this. Enemy Ezra was already 4 0. Okay. He went for a call. Very interesting. Okay. I lost. Oh, he's gonna all in me here. So I have to step by ground. Okay. And now let's recall. He has E again. The most important part here is for me to get the wave actually to crash. Okay, and now we can get boots, cloth, and potion. Alright. This matchup is just super annoying to play. He still has ignite, I gotta keep that in mind here. I'm gonna cancel his base. I didn't cancel it, okay, he's gonna TP here. It's okay, we're gonna have a feather wave at level 5 first. I'm gonna have bone plating again soon. I need to play for my level 5. He has no potions, I have one. Very good trade. He got my bone plating though. Well, since I was here. Yeah, I can't live. Ah, shit. At least the wave will push into me, right? No, it's not. It's a freeze. He's going to recall. Oh, yikes, chat. That is really, really bad. Uh, my entire team is also having a little bit of a struggle moment. Fundamentals were doing better before this death, I'll be honest. Baru, thank you for Prime. Appreciate it. Gray, RL, thank you for Prime. Hey, well, don't go backseat. Mm. I use my W very poorly here. My job is playing both sides. I will have ignite advantage, but yeah, I don't know. It's very hard to play, and I have to permanently respect the opportunity, the, the I don't know, the chance that this is could be here. There's also plant nerve right now that he could play for, so I'm not playing too aggressive.
It's going for the plant in the river. I'll keep the wave here. So that I can keep playing here. But uh, I'm going to need some assistance too. He's going to be full HP. Jax is playing well. He knows how to abuse the matchup. He's playing well with like... Fundamental snack, all that stuff. I don't think we can kill. I mean, it's okay, I guess. Shaxx is playing it well. Alright, let's recall. What should I buy here? I can't finish my topics and get a book. I mean, we're not super far behind in top lane, but uh, we are not ahead. He just hit level 7, so yeah, we're almost that equal, honestly. But he's gonna have ignite advantage here, right? And well, it's 4-0. Mid lane is somewhat stable. I mean, should I select Gwenver Strain or Woods or something which you recommend? I would try Ghost, Exhaust, and just the normal runes with bomb plating. Jax is really good against our champions, to be fair. Like, Viego and Gwen, what can they really do against Jax? You know? Kind of posturing too aggressive, maybe. Okay, he should be dead from that. No way he escapes. Nice. Okay, I can get two plays from this as well, I believe. He should not have TP yet. So that's why I'm pushing since I was bot. Nice. This is very good for us. And we can get two plates. I will stay tempo for the plates now. Because I can get two. He just used Q, he has no potions. But nice dodge by him. Oh, I sidestepped him really no. hard there. Alright, he should be able to finish this up. His flash. Nice! Good bait, good pings by him. He has TP, but I'm gonna quickly snatch a plate and recall. Hope I'm in time. We have some good spacing around this E there. Oh, he doesn't have TP yet. I also need 100%. Okay, he has it. And we're gonna reset in the third bush. He probably doesn't check this bush. No way he checks the third bush, right? He is going to check it. He is not going to check it. People rarely check the third one. What a weird type of gameplay by this guy, I'll be honest. I mean, we're gonna be a little bit delayed in our gameplay because we we are gonna Rift Maker first, right? We're not going for um, what's it called? The uh, Nash's tooth first, which kind of speeds up my gameplay very often. And also, if I don't have CDR boots. I'm playing with a Tabi simply because of Sins out Jacks. I have to. Katie Sims, thank you for your Prime. Appreciate it. Yes, I will do an educational guide on Pantheon too. This guy should be dead. Oh, actually, I don't have ult. I should be able to set check him here. Okay, that's well played by him. Since Zhao could be coming into top side again. I thought I had ult. It's still okay though. Mm. Uh, I'm assuming Jake's TPing. Or sorry, recalling. I can get one more plate since I was mid. He has a full Trinity Force. Looks like all the bros are going to be in trouble here. I want to get as much damage as I can on this turret. I think my... Oh, why are you doing that, man? Okay, I should get it. Ulting him to kite his E? 
Nice, this is really massive. Since I was still mid, so I'm gonna push one more wave. Only Oriana could come here, realistically. He thought he could win because of Ignite Advantage, but the most important part is when he jumps onto me. Like, I, I think I'd use my E, but I used my double ult to like slow him twice, right? So he can get close to me with his E. Nice, now we got enough gold income that it will actually make a difference. Because keep in mind, we're going to be a little bit delayed this game. Um, I'm going to go and ask for bot lane. Because I can try and progress onto this bot tier 1. I can't do much in top lane anymore. So I would like to be bot lane as a habit here. However, my AD carry might disagree. Alright, Ezra's gonna go mid. So I would like to go bot and that means Jay's top. Oh, now I'm gonna have to collect one bot wave, unfortunately. And I'm spamming this guy to not go bot, but yeah, sometimes people won't listen, even a master. I want to shut down. Okay, slash at least. Now Jake's gonna kill on Kaisa because he refused to listen, but it's okay. I did my best there in terms of communication. Kaisa should be mid to defend against the Ezreal. And uh, yeah, it's okay. We got the shutdown on Sinzao at least, that's something. It's very obvious that Jax is going both there. If Ezreal's top and Oriana is mid, or sorry, if Oriana's top and Ezreal's mid, where is Jax going to be? Both of his key. And Jax gets another kill. Yikes, man. Alright, Jax just got two random kills. That's tricky. This guy used flash. So let's say 1815 AD. We at least have that timer. But uh, yeah, this guy gets his full mythic now for free. This is full master seal off. We're playing with nine master players in the game. Jax might have TP. Jax definitely. Jax has TP. And Elstar is here behind me. So I'm gonna remove this ward. I don't want to get TP behind on, so I'm not gonna go for the side wave. If I had went for the side wave and Elsa would have jumped on me, then Jax can TP and just kill me, right? But now I think I have enough time to push in this wave before Jax is there with his rep buff. I can't win the 1v1 when he has the vine and rep buff. I simply can't. He's too strong for me right now. Even though I'm level 11, and even with Ignite Advantage, he would probably beat me in 1v1 right now. The vine is just such a broken 1v1 item. My mid is really weak. My AD carry is kind of weak, but my... Jungle is pretty strong, so that's the one we want to play with. Alright, I generally speaking want to play with my jungler, but he's playing top sides. I have TP. Um, that's pretty much it. I was very strong compared to the Jax, but him getting two kills on a rep off kind of makes it. I don't know. Not so bueno again. Alright. If I land everything, if he queues onto me like that, F so I Q three to eat him, plus auto, instantly had conquer stacks. Then when he jumped onto me, I instantly press ignite to deny his sustain, and I hit three ultimates in a row, and then my second Q. So then, of course, I can win. First of all, I stack my conqueror. I had ignite advantage to cancel out his healing, and this is really massive because these are the kinds of solo kills that will try and get me towards my second item to scale. So now we're on a good position again. At least me in the side lane. The rest of my team is still in the. Yeah, not so good position. I think he has TP, yeah. It's okay. Not much we can do about this. Orion's gonna have two items. Ezreal has two items. My entire team is losing really hard though. Besides my Viego again. I don't like the skirmish one bit. What is that? TP as Jace? Are you an idiot? Yes, you are. An idiot sandwich. Uh, I could TP top, maybe play first tier two. Oh, I missed the ult. Guys, no flash. Holy 
Holy moly. The team is kind of useless, I'll be honest, chat. The team is really useless. Actually, I don't need to sell it. Well, put me in a counter matchup and uh, arguably one of my worst matchups. I'll still perform, but could not say the same on my team here. Blitzcrack has flesh, please land it. Why would you ever take it? Like, why would you ever hit? I just don't understand. I have to TP here so he doesn't get a free tier 1. He has no E. Should I lose, no? Swap the better jacks. No, it wasn't passive. He auto attacked him. No, it wasn't a passive. It was an auto attack chat. It was not a passive. I think I want since out to fight me here, and maybe I can win. I don't know. Got a recall here. Maybe I could play for the tier two. Oh well, I gotta defend the, the bros here. All well, the bros. I don't think they're my friends. They are my griefing allies. Look at enemy team main. Look at the jacks. Don't look at my team. The hell. What's this? Alright. Hook him out of my range. That's my 1k shutdown, by the way, that he hooked out of my range. Which is uh, amazing. As I had no E. And uh, the blitz ring just. Uh, I guess the blitz ring landed the hook. I don't know, chat. Yo, Chillix, appreciate it, brother. Nash is up soon. Third Dragon is up soon. That again in top. I don't know how to really play. I would want to play for natural resources, right? Bot tier one, but they can just set everybody on me. I feel like. I'm not sure if they're playing for Nash or if they're gonna play for Dragon, you know? And if they come for me, I actually have a shutdown, even though my entire team is griefing. I guess we can figure it out like this. Yeah, they're all here. So I can't really go for this wave. I just was going for it. I can be a human ward. If he goes for next wave, maybe we can all in. Alistar is mid. Alright, this is my chance. He flashed. And exhausted. Yeah, I don't know. I have to take these type of risks. But instant TP. Very good reaction by the Jax. I thought with Alistar mid I can look for a play like this, Oriana was dead, but why would you go melee range? Are, are we all boosted? These are all master players by the way. I don't know, they don't seem like master players in my eyes at the moment currently, with the way they're playing the game. I know the thing that makes me the most sad this game is that for example when I had won my lane and I went to bolt like that my AD carry just doesn't listen and still gives free kills to like the Jax you know and, and this guy has such ego to still go and take my side waves instead of playing the game the way she's supposed to like here the side wave I don't care too much but earlier right when she went bolt and gave the Jax a free kill you now Viego gives him a kill and then he's actually back in the game too I still solo kill the Jax like I don't know four times now but it's not really leading into anything because my map is losing so hard everywhere else. 
It's just a really hard game to play. But finally, we can play for a turret. So this is nice. We finally have some tempo. And that, and the reason we have this tempo is literally because enemy team got Nash. Nothing else, really. Jax is no TP, but there's a Sinzao. He has three items. But one is a little bit stronger in one of ones. Especially against AD champions. There's no point for me to TP there. This item is actually very beneficial for me this game this is the first time i've bought it first game i've bought this actually i'm almost level 16 too this guy's no flesh focus this guy focus this guy right he looked at melamine that was impressive I know, it's good for my team to get some shutdowns, but I think I could do more with it. It's okay though, he got his first skill. Why don't we go? griefing for even being here nice okay so what can we do with this tp top and get the tier two here this wave is still closest uh oriana might have tp but at least we get something here i don't know why they're even playing like that they should never be moving up this is good okay oriana doesn't seem to have tp so i can get 600 gold extra here I'm gonna alter this, get my E back, and dip. Alright, now we have to play for soul. Do I just finish this item? I think I should. Healing, 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 healing. I think I should. It's not the best item, but I have a full item which will give me my mythic passive again too. Pre preferably, I'd have an item like Rabadon's here or even Void Staff, but this guy's two items now, this guy's two items, three items. I have four. Alright, this guy's three, this guy's three. If we can get this dragon, Oriana's still top, it would be absolutely massive. Okay, this guy has no flash, so it's a good target, but they shouldn't go too deep. I'm gonna focus the dragon completely. I can one-shot it pretty much. I'm not gonna help my team. I'm gonna zone this guy out, though. One-shot that guy. This guy's no flash. Nice. No flash on Jack as well. Can I not hit this? Yeah, I was about to say. Okay. If we push mid, can we just end? We end. We end, by the way. We end. Wait, my Jace died. Why are you dead, Jace? You do so... You have so much damage to turrets. Why are we dead, Jace? Now I don't think we can end. Now I'll go bot instead. My team can push up mid. We can't end without Jace. If Jace lives, we end. Like, Jace is fast third pusher and Gwen is. My team should not overstay. But at least they don't have soul, so they don't have a quick win condition right now. And we end up dying somehow. We end up giving our shutdown for fun. Oh, we just disconnect. Oh, lovely. What a good timing. Alright, she's back. Just gave the Jax a quick shutdown. No biggie. No, I guess she crashed, so that's why she died. That's acceptable, I guess. 
I mean, Nash is going to be up. I really just like my Viego making this play. They can play for Nash now. Okay, my Viego has four items. Okay, I mean the game is pretty stabilized now. I think we're about equal. Even my Kai's has items. Oh, this guy's on flesh. I'm just zoning their backline with my ult. I missed there though. Oh shit, I have nothing. I'm dead. That E forward was really bad without my W. I should wait for my W to E forward like that ever. That was a really, really, really big blunder by me. It was a good flash by Sinzo as well though. If we all die, they're gonna end the game. I misplayed this fight. And if I make a misplay, then... It's a lot more costly than if anybody else makes a mistake. Right, I'm kind of the win condition this game. They can't end. I don't know how my Viego died so fast as well. I have to review this fight. I guess... I don't know. They only get Nasher with it though. They can get a lot more. I played bad this fight. I can't E in like that without my W. Because I don't have Zonyas. If I had Zonyas, I could Zonyas there. If, uh, yeah, that was my mistake this fight. Man, like, this is full master MMR. Like, look at these deaths still. Holy shit, man. And, and the thing is, I would say here that I maybe had lost the game simply because I died in this team fight. If I played this team fight better, I would 100% carry this game easily, right? So again here, I would only focus on myself here. I could have played that fight better, but just looking at these amount of mistakes that my teammates are making, and still I'm in this game, by the way. Still I'm in this game. So now I have two options. I could keep pushing top and play for this and try to cross map. But I think I should just get my Rabadons and maybe my potion too and group up with my team and hope for the best on this soul fight. We're gonna get 200 gold from this wave. I'm gonna be just short. As well as the top watch. I don't like this. Blitzcrank has no flesh, so he's literally dead. You guys know who a good coach is? Like, why would you pick? Why would you go that in when I literally say don't go? Thank you for your prime boss, man. I don't know, this place man. This guy's a flash. I don't have W. I dodged the Oriana ult, what the hell, I'm scripting. Yo, I'm hiking scripting chat, I'm hiking scripting. That was... That was scripts, that was scripts, that was scripts, I'll be honest. Holy shit. Wait, why is Ori on the boat? We won! We won! Buff Gwen. Nine master players, by the way. Oh, wait, maybe I haven't won. Watch this, though. He can't hit me. Gwen is one of the most fun champions I've played on the rank to master. Yeah.